Yeah, the movies uh You're the man. You're the man. Hey, hey, hey. Uh Happy Halloween. I know this is shocking. <laughs> what? We're on time. Uh this is what's the name of the show? In a man's world. Tighten up your belt. Come on, ladies. Uh it's almost lunchtime. Talk to them, LD. What they got to make today? Almost lunchtime. Make them a sandwich. Or if you want. The summer's hot as hell. Yeah, so you, you can make them um, uh, some tuna. tuna light fish? tuna. How about a nice salad? Okay. For Jeff, you make him a salad. You Organic. make me tuna milk. Organic. Organic. Organic yeah. salad? Yeah. With kale and... Kale, spinach. Spinach. Cucumber, asparagus. Give me iceberg so, so, lettuce. I'm iceberg oh, lettuce. You got to leave that. It's not real lettuce. Well, it, yeah, it tastes like gotta lettuce go to me. You gotta go romaine. Gotta go romaine. I'll drop a couple pieces of romaine in there. That's about it. Okay. But it's a good day. Mm. Uh, we're on this side of the dirt. We were talking about it yeah. earlier. How um, somebody somebody didn't wake up. So somebody on Facebook is going to say, uh, "My dad or mom just went to heaven or went home." Good friend or yeah, yeah, somebody. and uh, yeah, my homeboy or you know, and uh, rest in peace. And I'm shocked and mm-hmm. say some prayers for Too me. Soon. The thing I don't understand is how that? people. I've read one which said, "My dad just died." Just died. Just died. Mm-hmm. And that's the What's first so place long? you go to is Facebook? Yeah. yeah. That's what they do. It's a social media. Everything is posted on Facebook. Yeah. Uh, that's, uh, to me, that's disrespect. Disre- give me a minute first. Okay. Just go, you know, just call the family first. Why do you go first to Facebook? Because I'm already on I'm on there already, so I'm already talking. Then I get the call. So since I'm already on, I'm going to let everybody know it just happened. Now, do you let your relatives know a different way first? Facebook. Because a lot of people are around the world, so they're not yeah. even in the, the same place that they're in, the same city or same state. So, so instead of you sending, calling me personally, I'm going to read about it. Now, is there, like, if it's your brother, like, say your mom died, and you're with your mom or your dad, mm-hmm. God forbid, well, do you call your brother or do you put it on well, Facebook first? Well, you got to find out how dysfunction the family is first. Correct. Because that's what I'm, I'm going through that night. My dad hasn't passed. But he's like on, you know, <laughs> death's doorstep. <laughs> so, well, that's the way to yeah, bring yeah. the show up. No, so I mean, what do you mean? He's on. What yeah, do you mean? He's is there. It, he's there. Is he at the top step or is he in the middle or the bottom step? He's climbing the stairway he to heaven. <laughs> <stairway to heaven. laughs> climbing the stairway Which to heaven. Which step is he on? At, at a slow pace. Is, yeah, really? Yeah. And I'm finding out actually the dysfunctionality of my family. Mm. How old my, is your dad? 86. All right, so he's on the. Wait is a minute, he, excuse me. Dysfunctionality. I like that word. Yes, I like that. Uh, is he? And those that check okay, my say words. It's 15, go ahead say and look it up. Fourteen it is a word. steps. Yeah. yeah. Where is he? Fifteen steps. Where is he? Is he step five? Step, step ten? Step four. Okay. Oh, step that's four. Four. Yeah, all right. He's got time. He got time. Uh, it depends on the day. Oh yeah. It depends on the day. Oh, yeah. some days he's yeah. And he can because he back. has Parkinson. Can you go up and down the steps? You say he likes the parkers. No, he has Parkinson. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. He parks on the yeah. left side. <laughs> but no, he has so, Parkinson, you know, and then um, the dementia started kicking in. So does he still know you? Some days. So some days you're his favorite son and some days well, you're no, not. No, I'm always the favorite one. So <laughs> I'm always the favorite I'll one. Let you tell it. Yeah, yeah. really. Let no, him tell it. it. But it's, it, it, um, hmm? the animosity between him and my older brother is hilarious. Oh. But he, he can't remember that all the time. Oh, yeah, he does. He does. Because when he's out of it and he's unshoveled and he's trying to find his way in the morning, yeah. the first person, like, I always fuck with him. I'm like, all that shit you talk about. Is you it know, disheveled or unshoveled? It's, it's, I'm, I'm going to go with unshoveled. I'm going to go. That's a good. It's just, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to go with disheveled. Yeah. yeah, I think it's disheveled. Excuse me, Fact Freddy. Could you get the Webster's Dictionary on the urban, unshoveled? Urban is probably right, unshoveled. Somebody checked you on, on, on the comments. On Arrogancy. One? That's a word I made up. Yeah. I, but it, it's a word, though. It's a word. If I use it, it's a word. Exactly. If you use it, it's a word. Exactly. I, I, you gotta I'm stop worried about what they think. Th- exactly. Make your own. If it sounds good up. coming out your mouth, then it's a word. And that's yeah. what men do. Right. Men make up their own word. Yeah. Men make up their own word. So, okay, uh, when did you find this out? Did you? Get, how did you find out your dad was on the stairway to heaven? Um, actually, because I had talked to him prior before his birthday in June. Okay. Okay. And we had a conversation. And he told you? Yeah, well, I knew he had, you know, the Parkinson was really starting to set in. And he's alone in his apartment. Okay. And, I, and then he needs help. And my dad's old school. So what zodiac sign is June? Gemini. Him? Gemini. Yeah. Oh, so he, right. the other, it's two people, Gemini. Right, right. So can one help the other? No, no. <laughs> and, my, and my brother's Taurus. I'm a Taurus. Yeah, board. so, and, you know, and they clash. Because mm. I fuck with my dad. Because my dad was like, you know, he's street person. 
Mm-hmm. You know, he's like in them taverns. You know, okay. my dad straight hood. Speakeasy. Yeah, all of that shit. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, you just upset because you're my older brother, G-Man, we call him. You know, he took your spot. Oh, you know, so you know, my brother, older brother, dresses like my dad now. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, he's, he's so becoming said, your dad. Yeah, so you, you know, you upset because he took your spot. You ain't no longer there. Right, right. So they just clash, and it's so much bullshit going on now. Cause my dad is like, he's he was married to his second wife, mm-hmm. but they separated thirty years ago. And they haven't been living together. It's just a whole lot of shit going on. Well, that's usually what happens when you separate thirty years ago. Yeah, it's yeah, but so. they, but they haven't been. The, they never divorced. Right, right, right. Oh, okay, okay. Right, yeah. So, because right. she was a Chicago police woman. Mm. So he still get them benefits. No, as of January first this year in Chicago, the city no longer was going to be um, compliant to taking care of um, their spouses, the retirees. Oh. So they cut their benefits. So that's another. So idea. and my dad, yeah. you know, he wasn't eligible for Medicaid. Mm. He has Medicare, but he wasn't eligible um, eligible for uh, Medicaid. So now we got to go through that. That's crazy. You have your hand up. It's, it's only we only ten minutes into the <laughs> didn't show. You didn't questions. you ask me for a definition of something, sir? Okay. Oh, wow. sir, that's okay. official. All right, what's the definition of of? Okay, so unshoveled really is disheveled. It's. I guess the improper use of that word, but okay. it means untidy, unkept disorder. Mm. Yeah, so that's the that's so the urban dictionary. Like Donald Trump's hair is this show. Oh come on, that's the president. <laughs> yeah, yeah, come on now, he's he's doing the best he can. Right, <laughs> what he got? Uh, <laughs> he's working with what he's got. <laughs> yeah, and we ain't gonna talk about his boy that they fired after ten days. What <laughs> uh, the mooch he got fired on your day off, Craig. Oh man, um, <laughs> yeah, that was, and he came on strong too. He was firing people. Right, he was. I'm firing you. I'm firing. I'm. I'm, I'm gonna take care of all this. Mom, could you imagine that meeting when they called him in? He was like, what? And his wife divorced him? He was a cold cat. The birth of his he son, he texted. He looks about 5'2". And, and you know, you know, you know who, I felt, who I felt sorry for the worst was the comedian who could do an impression of him. Oh, yeah. He was about Mario to get paid. Canto. Yeah, he yeah, was yeah. about to get paid. Yeah. And my man got fired, so his day was... Now that's yeah. that's terrible. That's man. That's he was terrible. he He's was probably on working Saturday on the impression. Live, all of that, yo. He, his, his, his agent was making calls, taking calls, saying, he did "Hey, his last episode of the President Show." Yeah, where well, he Comedy did, he was, yeah, he was he was into killing. it. Yeah. And he was, I, the New Yorker article is what really did it, right? He went on there talking vulgar to Ryan Lizza. Well, yeah. they say what did it was he was becoming bigger star than Trump. Mm. He was just he was look he was just selling wolf tickets. And oh, he, oh, oh. he he messed he he went at the wrong person, he went at the wrong person, and I feel bad for not really, but I say I'm gonna feel bad for Sarah Huckabee. Mm-hmm. That girl, Why? she she looks stressed. <laughs> she looks <laughs> she, she looks can stressed. See it, but could you imagine and, just like if you married to her and just like what you lying again? She looked like she smells. Um, <laughs> <laughs> like what? She just looks like she, she smells. She reminds me monster. She just looks like she smells. Uh, She's like hey, some people just uh, look like they smell. <laughs> You know, That's did you see her accusation? trying to clean up uh, Trump's lie about calling the Mexican president yeah. and the yeah, and the boys, the boys Boy Scouts calling? Yeah, she just it's not Mexican, it's Latino, <laughs> and it's it's funny, but you know what's funny is her kids are having a ball because they? they they were like, Mom, this is alternate alternate, alternate facts. They really they got to oh, yeah. mess with her. But um, so uh, I'm Lewis Dix. TDP. Jeff Arnold. The phone number is 323-293-3375. Before I go any further, I want to thank Aaron Gladman. Detroit, Motor City. Sending prayers up. He went to church, and he's a godly man. Yeah, we've heard. And he sent some prayers up, and I felt them. You felt them? I, I what did. What are you sending the prayers up for? Well, I was, you know, I was a little, not, not as, I wasn't... As much of myself as I was, as I am now, last week. You were in a stupor. Wow, what was wrong? I missed it. What was wrong? Oh, he was, was in a stupor. I was just, my wow. energy was low. Yeah. <clears throat> and I was just. Because you unemployed? No, I'm fucking. Yeah. No. You, <laughs> that's what I said. You could join the line. In a man's that's world. I said. And I said, line, that. I, I said that. I said that. as The show spotting. got canceled. Yeah. And yeah, it was, it's, uh, <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> what about me? <laughs> I got bills to pay. And, hey, I know I'm. Pl- I know I'm playing that lotto. Try, uh, but did you try calling niggas that owe you money? No, I'm mm. playing that lotto, and um, because that's the funniest shit when your motherfuckers owe you and they don't. Oh, you know. Let me hit you right back. Yeah, yeah. Because I texted a good friend of mine. Mm. Yeah, and the motherfucker responded back how much I needed. 
And then I ain't hear nothing back. <laughs> oh, that was me. That was you. <laughs> that was me. That was me. Sound familiar? That was me. <laughs> That's what made them, me sad. I didn't nigga, have anything to give. Nigga, I threw that them digits at him. He like, <sighs> man. Hey, you no, come down now, a little. And you know how you just wait for the response? Right. Like, I know it's coming. And that's the thing about men. We will respond if we got it. If we don't, that's the way yeah. of saying we got, you know, it's like, hey. And people I, need to know that. Yeah, and I know, know and, and I know if I had it, I'd give it to him just like he would give it right, to me. So sure. it's just, sure. it's. Because um, I feel your pain because I've been going through that too. And I'm just like, I get my nine. And I like try on the nylon. I'm like, man, niggas gonna recognize me. Right, right. right you know, let me right. get the ski mask. And then <laughs> last night I saw set it off. <laughs> that wasn't good to watch. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, man, I'm like, where's have... Queen Latifah when I need her? <laughs> yeah, you know. Because when you at your lowest, that's when like they say the devil is busy and he does his work. And I, and all I, them think, all them I, thoughts I, come. And speaking out. of the devil, I've been at church. I've, I've been <laughs> at election play. I've come? been at. Hey, man, I can find almost every uh, scripture. He say go to First Peter. I'm right there. <laughs> Uh, hey man, I've been go- and and I feel I'm I don't feel like I'm a hypocrite, but then again I, I you know I'm paying attention, and it seems like whenever you're down, I, I don't think you're really paying attention. I don't think you are. So if you're going to church and you know they're taking up offerings, so you know which way they pass the plate, you got to sit on the last row when it's coming your way. Okay, you got to yeah. see the money going in there. Take your dollar out, put your dollar in, take 40 out. Now, what's interesting was last week he did something where he had every he said, I'm just feeling this was past Omar. I'm feeling this. I'm feeling this. I'm feeling this. I don't want y'all to I want y'all to just be quiet cuz mm. there's people here who need who needs this prayer time. Mm. And I just want y'all to we're not going to pass the buckets like we normally do. Buckets. I want y'all to bring your 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 offering. offering to the front and just leave it on the on the on the, I'm tired. on the steps. Yeah, because I'm tired of my and it was in there. and one guy I saw put five dollars and four quarters. <laughs> wow, like, my man dropped change. That's a combo. He dropped change, and then you know I'm looking at all the twenties and all mm-hmm. that. I'm like, man. Come on, okay. man. Where's yeah, somebody, it for? Yeah. What, where's, where's your blessing? The yeah. If the and blessing was, is right in front of you, where's your blessing? I mean, and I thought it would have been cool if he said, listen, right now, whoever needs some money, I want you to take what you, you need. No, come on, y'all. Let me tell you how to play on, the man. game. When they do that, you see all that money right there? That's when you catch the Holy Ghost and you just roll around in and go, oh, my Lord, and fill your pockets up. The Lord is blessing me right now. What they going to say to you? They going to call the police and say you took the money when you caught the Holy Ghost on the money? Yeah. What you gonna do? I'm man? trying to save myself. I'm trying to yeah. save my house. I'm waiting to see a, a, a debit card thing where it says "Do not remove" or "Remove cards." <laughs> yeah. Got the chip? Yeah, the chip. <laughs> um, I don't even fuck with that no more. But because you can't even do that. Remember in, in the old days when it's when it first came out? Right. You could write a check, and then you can put it in. Yeah. And then you can t- withdraw that money. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And now you can't do that shit no more. Yeah. No. There's a whole lot of shit you can't do. Yeah. No, they got you. They got the game has changed. Got man. Hey, the they changed. got this game. Um, can't do so, the counterfeit no more, but like cut the edges off the 20 and put them on the one. Yeah. You know, just pass that off. Man, mm-hmm. can't do none of that. Game they ain't marking changed. the money. They, they, they moved it upstairs. Now, here, I go to Starbucks this morning. It was a long line of Starbucks. I don't go to Starbucks, but I I was trying I'm to early, get around I'm, the I'm line. Early, I'm, like, I'm like, I'm like, like six right before, you know, traffic count. So, little Asian girl, you know, two people ahead of me. So I go to order, so I get the um, caramel macchiato. And she said, can I have a name? And I said, uh, Sweet Daddy. Oh. Then she was like, excuse me? I said, uh, Sweet Daddy, uh, could you give me another name? I said, bitch, not if I'm spending my money, I'm not. <laughs> Who the fuck are you to tell me to give you another name? That's my name. So my man was in the back, you know, he, he doing this shit. He was like, that's my man right there. He said, I'm going to make yours. <laughs> like, bitch, who are you? Exactly. Who the fuck are you to tell me? Oh, I need another name. This was an Asian girl? Yeah. These foreigners have gotten out of control. That's why I said, bitch, you ain't from around here, huh? Hey, man, it's... Uh, so she had to go in the back and walk that shit off. I was on her like a pit bull. Like, bitch, I, give me another name. Bitch, are you crazy? You asked me and, and I told what, did you. Did she write that on there? Yeah, hesitantly. She gonna tell you, you what you... Hesitantly. Hesitant. And, okay. and you know what's so funny? Hesitant. <laughs> it's been funny if... if, if a no, old, fuck it. Hesitantly, if, she if wrote a, that If an old school black dude came and talked about, hey, sweet daddy. <laughs> what's right. going on, player? So now it's a little crowd in there, so my man like, sweet daddy, vente, sweet daddy. <laughs> My man. Right there. That's for you. you know what I'm saying? Right. Bitch, why are you tripping? You know what I mean? That's that's what's out here right now. Yeah, a lot that's of people, and that's the thing, a lot of people are exercising their control when they don't have control. Everyone, everybody, everybody wants to be LAPD. That part. 
It's, it's like you, you you really woke up today to challenge me about my name. Right. That's your job right. is to write my name. And you're going to tell me I need a new name. So when I walked in, you kind of looked at me with disdain. Like, why is this nigga up so early? Exactly. You know, it was that look, too. Right. You know. So, wow. I mean, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm going to play with you this morning since you want to go there. She Say that again. She said. What? I said, sweet daddy. She was, so she had to cover. She, so she said, give me a name. I said, sweet daddy. She's like, huh? I said, sweet daddy. Could you give me another name? Not when I'm spending my money, bitch. I'm not. Wow. I hey mean, we got. I'm just looking in there. We, we gotta up your muscle game. What, what are you talking? He about? had muscles last week. Yeah, they go. Yeah, I've been working out. What are you talking about? Where they go? Yeah, we gotta. You know, we gotta get you on some uh, steroids. Yes. Yeah, X said that small shirt is holding your body <laughs> together. <laughs> X, a double But Apollo he also legend. bagged on you, too, Peter. What is he that? said he can't eat until you spread your shirt out on the table. <laughs> hey, man. A double Apollo I'm, legend. I'm, one, I'm, I'm actually no, 195. Are you? Yes. My you, man. You look cute. I'm yeah. 195. And, and <laughs> Are you trying to hold it down? I'm not trying no, to get what on. Was trying to go No, no, no. I, 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 I'd like mm-hmm. to be like 190. Okay. A little stomach. All right. It's bothering me. It's bothering you. Oh, okay. Yeah. Why? It's fine. You get a tummy tuck? <laughs> <laughs> You're at that age. <laughs> look, cosmetic surgery, uh, you know? Um, yeah, I'll buy 12. Yeah. So uh, I was saying, I was telling, um, I didn't tell you, but I was telling uh, TDP that I'm talking, I mean, this, this happened yesterday in the supermarket. Right. Uh, no, Wednesday, because Lou and I have been going to the gym working out. Okay. <laughs> So we go to the supermarket. What was that, uh, Jeff? What? Oh. <laughs> oh no. no, we've been lifting. So, because um, uh, he said he wants to get bedroom sexy. <laughs> oh. That's why I asked. Not him. on my like, watch. I was like, "Why you want?" He said, "Yeah, oh. I just got to get bathroom sexy." And I'm, I mean, bedroom sexy. And I'm like, "What is that?" He's like, "So I can look good in the bedroom." And I'm like, okay. "Hilarious!" Oh, All okay. right. So I'm, oh. I'm thinking like, "Well, I just thought you wanted to get in a in little shape. bigger so okay. you don't get punched. Wow. So you look like you can take a punch." Mm-hmm. And he said, "Yeah, well, you know, when I have a son, you know, I want to be able to be in shape." And I'm like, "You trying to tell me something?" He's like, "No, I'm just, you know." So then I'm saying, he's saying, um, he's, oh, yeah, by the way, Dad, I'm uh, Wednesday I'm leaving to go to Tokyo, Japan. Mm. I just threw that on you. Yeah. By the way. By the way. And, yeah, and I'm like, well, who are you going with? Uh, me, Jarvis, and these two girls. Mm. Okay. All okay. right, cool. Are they Asian? The girls? No, no, they're two <laughs> sisters. So I'm like, you know, good for you, man. Be careful. And and um, so then I'm, he gets on, he FaceTimes his buddy. Oh. His boy that he went to college with. Mm-hmm. So I see, and this is what. Through me, because they so sensitive, you can't. I couldn't say what I wanted. Wait, before to you say. get started, where, what hour were you on? You the vegetables? You about yeah. meat? No, I see this like... as we're walking by the fruit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no now he's with you in the store. He's with me in the store. Okay. Yeah. Now he's on the phone, so I see his phone because you know their phones are big like yours. Mm-hmm. So I see the picture of his boy leaning back. Like he laying on the bed. Oh wow! And, he's trying to get a cucumber. And and, they, <laughs> and a cucumber. So he's Your like, "Yo, what up?" Cute. And they saying the N word. Yo, what up? You know, you know. They they talking all hard. Right, right. But you're FaceTiming him. And I'm like, "What's wrong with that?" I'm like, "Where where is?" That's where we at now. Where where did I get off this? So does this dude have a shirt on? Yeah. Okay. And and I know they're not gay. You know. But How do you know that? Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> no, I'm just. I just. We didn't I wanted think Bobby to say. Valentino was I wanted to say so bad. Is. That hurts my heart. I'm I wanted to say Valentino. so bad. Hey, hey, Lou. Why? Why are you FaceTiming another guy? That's because you won't talk to me. I'm. I'm just. I mean, I can understand talking to your boy on the phone, but why that do part. you need to see him FaceTime? But I'm, is that a young thing? So what's the difference, though? I'm not. I don't to, want to be sitting there. If I'm talking to you, I don't want to be sitting there looking at your face. While you laying on the table talking yeah, to you. I mean, yeah. I, I, it just it didn't. It but we, we talking now, so what's the difference? That's how we grew up talking face to face as humans. Right. But not on the. That's too much. Would you I mean, want me to see your candles and all that? <laughs> <laughs> he on one today. He on, he he on. He's making a great point. Hey, he he on he's with, making a great point. <laughs> I mean, if if I want to show you no, something, you. if I, I want to show you, hey, yo, Jeff, TDP, I got to show you this, man. Look at this. Right, right. Then I've I've never Facetime in my life. Me either. I've, I've never Facetime. Really? Life. Never. No. Never. never. You? No, you Facetime? You Facetime? Yeah, man. Great way for phone sex, bitch. You can't, fo- you can't bullshit no more. <laughs> 
<laughs> All that little snapping and shit. Let's show that shit. Let me see that. Whoa. S- steals don't do it for you no more. <laughs> need, need action. Put that phone down there. Let me see what's going on down there. I see why there. the police be messing with you in your neighborhood. <laughs> Steals, <Are> you really? <laughs> you really? <laughs> Okay. Do oh, tell. Seriously, I don't do that. Uh, okay, that's interesting. Yeah, so I thought that was a little strange. Mm-hmm. So then... Um, so he's not uncomfortable looking at this dude laying down with his head behind his head I, talking to him. I was I was FaceTime. very uncomfortable. Okay. I was. I just didn't get it. And then, then I realized this is a new generation. Yeah, this, this is the millennials. Doing. This is right. what they do. Right. It's, right. it's not a... You know, sexual thing. It's just... FaceTime. Uh, yeah, yeah. They, that's that's their way of communicating. I thought it was a little, you know... Creamy. Yeah. Mm. Like I was telling you, like, some nights I do a, um, security at that club. Mm-hmm. And it's the, you know, back in the day, we didn't have the cameras. Man. You know, we was in there. You got your Mac on. Right. It was low key. Mm-hmm. Now you go in there and the flash, the light is on. Everybody Snapchatting. And you just like, why? Why? That's why I got out of it. You know what I mean? It's like, why? That's and they're the like, bullshit. we here. We here. It's like, why are you broadcasting? Why are you telling everybody you here? And that's what they do. I think it's just a. It's just a. I don't know because you 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 thought that but, your but parents it's like you paid said, enough attention to you. It struck me because you got guys Snapchatting. Right. They sitting there, you know, mimicking the records, the rap records, and they all like this. <laughs> Doing the video, right? I, I was at a, I was at a sandwich shop, and two the, a group of guys were sitting at the table, and they were filming each other. Yeah, and I wanted to, I really wanted to slap the phone out of their head and say, "Man, y'all supposed to be eating with food falling out your mouth and talking. Y'all not supposed to be doing that. That's but just that's, they, hey, that's man, just not. Everything is here now. Yeah, everything, everything. is here. Everything. everything, everything is here now." You got you, your credit card on here. Everything is here. This is your life now. Just like you said, back in the day, we used to go to the club. We used to do our thing, man. You get on that dance floor. You get to sweating and just getting on. But now everybody want to, oh, look at it. It's just, I just left the club. It's like they, can't, like, oh. it's like they can't retain their own live memories. They got to it, it, record it. It's all here. I was in Ralph's. And a woman ahead of me, I'm pulling out cash. Mm-hmm. She went to her phone. Yeah. And they just like boop, and I'm like, okay, what's all that about? Oh, this I'm paying. Yeah, really? Yeah. yeah. One woman had her license downloaded on it. It's all here now. It's yeah. all here. Credit card, everything. It's all I remember here. when that, that um, first that ISIS app came out. It was ISIS, I S I S. It was the ISIS app. One of them came out there with the boop. I was like, kind of my man in the parking lot. I was like, I said, what's that? He's oh, it's ISIS app, man. You put. All your information on here, and all you you know, put your money on there. So whatever you want to do, if they accept it, you just you just do this. You yeah, just, you ain't gotta touch nothing. I was like, damn. You ain't gotta carry like, cash that, no more. Yeah. It's, it's, that's where we at now. Everything, and especially with the young ones, my son's age, your kids, their whole life is this. Let them lose their phone and watch how erratic they become. They go nuts. Cause you, wow. like you say, we cash and carry, so. You yeah. pull out that cash and everybody like, oh, fuck. You got to hold the line up. <laughs> and hey, you know what kills right me, though, is everybody's a money expert. Right. You right. ever go right. to the store and you put, but, um, bust out the hundred mm-hmm. and the motherfuckers is always like this. Yeah. <laughs> they like that. And then they get the marker and shit that they like, you know. And they got the machine now. They put it in the machine yeah. and they kick back out. And then it. I fuck with them when they give me change and shit. You know, they give me 20 oh, and I start looking at yeah. that shit like, okay, yeah. You know what I do? I put the quarters up. I look at you look at the quarters. Like, okay, it's a real quarter. <laughs> but you, this is something. You know how to fuck with the young ones, though? Mm. Get the old faces, the small faces, oh. the hundreds, mm-hmm. and pass that. And the 20s. Yeah, and they look at you like, uh, I got to call the manager. What you call the manager for? Is this new so, uh, manager to yeah, win uh, with a new four. kind of money? No, this is the original hundred. Yeah. Oh, I don't think we accept them. <laughs> yeah. Bitch is currency. <laughs> wow. Still These motherfuckers is dumb as shit, man. <laughs> yeah, they, should, they they are not smart. They're not smart. It's hard for them to make change. I, I, I did it. To, I went to the bank. I said, "Give me the old hundreds and give me some old 20s. I, I do that I'm all the time. Yeah. 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 They have no clue, man. No. They're like, clue. I don't think we accept this. What you mean you don't accept it? I don't think we accept these. It's a hundred. Well, I don't, I've never seen one before. Just because you haven't seen it before, 
It's still U.S. currency. Right. It, you have to accept it. Well, I'm Lewis Dix. TDP. Jeff Arnold. Uh, the, the name of the show. What's the name of the show? In a man's world. Tied up your bet. Um, your uh, belt. Just, oh. just FYI, and we'll say this a few more times. Beginning next week. Wait a minute. Let's wait. Let's wait for that. Oh, we got an announcement. Yeah, we got an announcement. You got to build up. Let's sell it, okay, man. Okay, my fault. Uh, I, I was, thought you watched the news. Oh, you, was, you don't watch reality show? <laughs> you got to build it up. I Suspense. watched this thing last night Teaser. on Led Zeppelin, which was interesting. The Great band. Story. And Great the band. drummer who, who, who had to one arm. with one arm. Yeah. Um, it was really interesting. They was in a bus accident when that happened. It, it no, in the, in the story, movie, I saw he was in a car accident. Okay. The car yeah, flipped car. over. Yeah, he lost and, his arm. Yeah, and it was it was interesting. Because um, um, uh, what's your boy uh, who's married to old girl? Was He he was the lead. Robert Plant? Oh, I'm thinking about uh, the other boy. He was the leader of uh, Black Sabbath. Ozzy Osbourne. Ozzy Osbourne. I'm thinking about him. But Sharon no, Osbourne. Yeah. So uh, I was on the way here mm-hmm. today, this morning. I was driving behind someone who just just really couldn't drive. Okay. And, and I start thinking, did that person, does that person know they can't drive? Of course. And then when I pulled around them and looked at them, they had that look like, I'm, I'm sorry, I can't drive. What was the nationality? Asian. And and no I just, it made me start careful, thinking, do, do people know what they're good at and what they're not? Like, like I hear people will acknowledge that um, if I can't, I can't play basketball, I can't do this. People will say that. Mm-hmm. I'm not good at such. But no, but that's factual, though. About... You can't play basketball. Oh, that, that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean that for me. Well, you should have. <laughs> I, I can hit a jumper. Um, Allegedly. Um, Occasionally. But I started thinking about that. It's, it's. I think it's with this generation, especially this generation, it's hard for them to th- think or acknowledge what they can't, can and can't do. Yeah. You know, like, like, especially nowadays with, the, like you were saying, the phone and exactly. the, like people don't like. There was a time we were up where you knew if you were good looking or ugly. When did you know? That I did. I didn't. I wasn't. I knew. <laughs> Either or. I knew I had my people. It was things I knew that I, I had going on. I knew I had a big nose, mm-hmm. but I knew I had okay teeth and my mom's eyes. Aww. And so <laughs> you were smart. Yeah, somewhat. But I, I knew. You know. So you that's great dancer. And I was told I was <laughs> handsome. Oh. Then I reached that point where someone said, "Because it just takes one girl, mm-hmm. you know, to or one, all of that, to, or just to, to make you think." Like a girl told me one time that um, I look really good in white with a white shirt. Okay, wow. So that stuck with me. Mm-hmm. It was in college, and I was like, "All right, I'm wearing a white shirt. I look good in a white shirt." Mm-hmm. And I think it's because of the contrast of the skin color. Yeah, that's what it is. So, um, but it's certain things that you're told or people tell you or. To make you feel a certain way, and then it sticks with you. Mm-hmm. You know, really? Well, yeah, because like some people's like, like being called too dark. You're pretty, you know, that whole thing. They've explored that. They they really just gone over that over and over. Why you tell a black girl that she's pretty for a black girl and all that and that whole. Oh, you're cute dark. to be dark. Yeah, yeah, that whole uh-huh. thing. Um, but I think we reached a point now where, like, I think people know that they can't drive if they're good drivers. They're bad drivers. You but know. it's to some people that just drive that way because, like you said, me coming down here today, coming out La Brea, making a left onto um, Rod- Rodeo mm-hmm. at the McDonald's, this motherfucker just, he in the back seat, just leaning. <laughs> you know? And the motherfucker, <laughs> it, it took him like at least two and a half minutes to make a fucking left turn. Right, right. And he right. just like this, and then he's getting over, and I'm like, you know, all up on his ass. Yo, my man! Yeah. <laughs> it's like... <clears throat> and I did the same thing when I got up to him. I looked at him, and his boy on the other side just puffing, and then my, and he like this, and I'm like, I don't have my gun on me. And I looked, and he just like looked at me like, what, nigga? <laughs> and I'm like, all right, cool, you you know. See, I'm just building day. with my man right here. <laughs> yeah. I'm building. And I'm like, I don't want to take it there with him. Uh, I'm like, all right, cool. Right. You know, and he's and I look in the side view mirror on the on the passenger side, and my man doing like three miles an hour. And cars are literally going around. I mean, right, it's right. like, okay, these niggas on a Friday, they they, they doing their thing. Right, right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And you have those type of drivers that purposely, intentionally, they drive that way. Yeah. They get out there and fuck up shit. Yeah. Yeah, because sometimes I feel bad when <laughs> if I'm blow. I don't blow anymore. I only blow to protect myself. 
the, the, if I need to get your attention. Mm-hmm. I hate that. I flash, I flash my high beams. Okay. You like, know, it, I flash my high beams. It, it, see, uh, Here's the thing I noticed that's with, shit. with bad driving. With the flash and the high beams and the honk and the horn. Do you, you honk? No, I don't do none of that, man. I, I've learned to control my road rage. Yeah, I've I'm seen not some, road, I just I've flat. seen somebody jump out the car. With the, the you know the flash and the high beams and the, mm-hmm. and then they got caught at the light and then my man jumped out and like nigga what? Right. And dude was like you know you see him locking the doors. My man like what? Like what? Traffic yeah. ain't going nowhere. What? And I'm like okay and that's when I was like let me just calm down you know. Yeah, because people do get in their car with attitude. What were you saying? Are you a hunker? Or a no, hunker? I'm, I'm 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 gonna say that dude. I'm gonna say this point because I've done that one time. My man in the truck. I'm, I'm going to court so. I'm just in a fucked up mind because I got to play with these yeah. devils, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So I'm on my way to court. My man come up on me in the truck. He blow. I just threw the fuck you <laughs> finger out the, you know what I mean? I don't give a fuck who it was. I'm like, you don't fuck you. Whoever it is, fuck you. So my man put up on the side of me. It was a brother. He said, he said oh, you going to give me the finger like that? I just rolled over and I said, sorry, my brother. I thought you was one of the Mexicans out here. And I'm going to court and I'm fighting some shit. So no disrespect to you. He was like. Okay, well, brother, I, I respect that because I was going to shoot you. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yes. Just real shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. That, that was real. Because that's a, was, that, that was a, a, a defining moment for me when my man jumped out the car. Because dude was like behind him, like, you know, blowing the horn. He's like, Da-da. and my man, it got caught at the light. And dude just like jumped out like what motherfucker what? Yeah. See, I'm of the mindset. If you jump out the car and you coming towards me, I'm going forward. I'm running your ass over. <laughs> I'm but sorry. Like, up sometimes it's just you know some people just get that deer in the headlights when the moment come and you just yeah. it's coming your way. You don't know what to do. Some people just freeze. And then to the bad driving part, like especially women, man, they always got the fucking rearview mirror on them. They got the visor mirror down on them. They got the outside mirrors on them. You're not driving, bitch. You're looking at yourself. Right. Or they're looking at their cell phone. Oh, they, they, and the cell phone is a mirror. And they're looking, again, they're looking at themselves. They, it's a lot of. So that's what I know is a bad. So when I see all that, I just get away from them. Let them go. You know, Thanks. and it's always these dudes in these little, little ass Fast and the Furious cars yeah. with the big ass exhaust on the back, sound like a uh, goddamn motorcycle. Mm-hmm. Weaving like, where the hell they at? And, yeah, weaving in and, out, in of and traffic, out of traffic, yeah, like, in between lanes and all of that. They can't drive. Yeah. Um, so um, I also um, <laughs> I was talking to you know I'm trying to have conversation more conversation with Lou and and I um. We got on the subject of things that your girl might not like <coughs> that you might change. Things your girls, your like, girl so, might not like. Like, they, like change. they don't Does like make you, you to change. Yeah, and, and you decide. Because I asked them, because um, I told them, I said, I remember one time, because I was trying to remember which girl it was who did not like I, the fact that I would spit. Oh, okay. Um, In public. Wait, wait a minute. Yeah. Now, was it just like a, like, or was it one of the... <laughs> Well, I'm, we had, we were together, so I'm she sure she, like, had, yeah, she, she like didn't like, spit, and like. she would comment on it all the time. Mm-hmm. And I, I think I stopped for a minute, then I went back to it because right. I'm like it's a biological function. I mean, spit. I'm, what am I supposed to do? So Lou's like, yeah. Then I asked him about it, and he said, yeah. Well, she don't like you. She stop. I said, what am I supposed to do with it? Swallow it. I wanted to slap him. And but that's so, a trait, though, you know. What with him with you. Sucker what? for love type, yeah. But then he said he, a girl <laughs> told him to stop cracking his knuckles, mm. and he did it. Okay. What? And I was like, so I said, okay, is it a thing? Is it something that you won't do? I said, if the girl says she doesn't like your music, yeah, she don't. To him. Would you stop listening to it? Things you change Not, for uh, your girl, right? Around her, he said, I wouldn't listen to it around her. I, just, I said, but what if she didn't want you to listen to it? At when all. she wasn't around. Well, no, she can't do that because I'm not around her. Mm-hmm. Okay. But you would stop listening to your music around her. I'm like, ah. But women are like that, though. And some men. Well, but, some, yeah, mo- they, but mostly they, men. They try to change you. But mostly women. Yeah, they try to change you. It's things that they don't like. And, 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 it's, it, and my thing is, a lot of it has to deal with their past. And I'm sure that's with everyone. And and it's so hard when you love someone to have to keep to, to you have to keep understanding their past that a lot of right, stuff they right. bring up or stuff that you might do. I had a girl one time 
because I, I think I'm, you know, I'm, I'm kind. I try to stay on the light side of things, mm. and joke, and and she didn't like the fact that I would tease her to the point of saying, um, um, girl, don't be talking when I'm talking, just that kind right, of right, stuff. Right, right, right. You know, like, hey, 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 shut your pie hole, right, lady. Watch your tone, hey, you know, something <laughs> like that, or or uh, hey, go make me some, a sandwich. Get in, there. Get in there, right? And then so one day she said to me, um, and because I was like, what's wrong with you? Why are you? Well, just um, just the things. Does she know, sound like that? Yes, yeah, oh, she okay. said. The um, the, the well, you know, in my past, I was in an abusive relationship, and, and it just and and that. That's when you should have smacked the shit out. <laughs> and you still in one, bitch. <laughs> Thanks for telling me, cause I've been meaning to smack the fuck out you, bitch. <laughs> shit don't change. <laughs> Bitch, you fucking with you, the right you, hey, Welcome you, to the Taliban, bitch. I knew you was built for this. <laughs> <laughs> that part, bitch. <laughs> it's called the cycle. <laughs> so, <laughs> so um, I've been meaning to put my foot up your ass. <laughs> bitch, when I tell you to get in there, shut the fuck up and shut the so, fuck up. And I'm like, you know, and it was like, because I, I, you know, I used the to. The views of it. I used to take this girl flowers, stuff like that, and do right, all this. You know, right. I was I was always gentle, hugging her. And, and I was See, like. that's that. Damage good. But that's, that but that's where she. You should have smacked her with them flowers. I, but I was like, where did you. Nah. You know, uh, I'm like, where did you. And, I well, feel you, I did. And I was I just, you. it's just, you mm-hmm. know, uh, it just made, you know, I just think that you should be nicer. And it and, and just feels like you're doing the passive aggressive thing. And I'm mm-hmm. like. No, I'm just being funny. I said, okay, it was okay, and now and today, well, yeah. I'm just, go- and, and I was like, what's really going on? Well, I'm just, you know, it's just some things are in my mind. Okay, okay. So, okay, I got that. So, some things are on your mind, but you go there. I mean, it might have been the 10th anniversary, which was the first time she got beat up. Yeah, you know, exactly. You know, and it just, it just, it just, it made me, th- you know, and I'm, and I'm like, so then, because we ended up not staying together, because I was like. Yeah, how long did that last? It didn't last long, yeah. because I was like. I can't be me right. if that bothers you know. So I remember when you broke now, up with you that smashing? dude. Was you smashing? When I broke up with that dude, <laughs> <laughs> I remember. <laughs> were you smashing? Well, yeah, yeah, we were we were Allegedly. intimate. Allegedly, yeah, but see, then you have to attribute to like maybe it wasn't that good though. Yeah. What? That I wasn't that good? Well, no, maybe it just wasn't that good. The pussy wasn't that good. That I ain't got change and all of that. Because it good pussy would make you change. No, it wasn't a thing of change. It was a thing of, no, I just didn't understand where change. it all came. I, it's, to me, it seems like this. like and, 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 and It's like women have a thing where and they like bring up, oh. they bring up, <laughs> <laughs> they bring up all this, their baggage when and they need Gucci. it. When they need it. Right, right, right. It, When it's, it's timely for them. It's convenient. Right. You know, it's like, it, it's like, okay, wait a minute. But they never bring up the good things you're doing. For what? For no, you know what I'm saying? That never pops up. My job that, is to keep you down. And, and I don't understand it. It's like you focusing on on that. Now, I say, okay, so one thing bothers you because I tease you, whatever. Mm-hmm. But nine other things that I do well. You don't, you, you don't bring that up. You, you, that doesn't stay with right. you. Just say Saturday you're, morning. I just want to <laughs> thank you for that time that you came and picked me up on time. I want to thank you for that other day when you came and picked me up on time and you brought me flowers. I want to thank you for that time you just brought me a sandwich out of... You never get that roll call. And it's like the guy who, and it's wait, what it makes you think is that the guy who was abusing you, you kept you kept letting him abuse you. Right. Yeah, because she enjoyed that. That was love. <clears throat> and 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 I'm now you got a guy who who loves you, but yet you you're bringing up stuff from that other guy. But you don't know. Why what is love that is? on my plate? Because she doesn't know what love is. What she thinks the abuse is love. Not that you think th- that is love. I just, and I was like, man, you know. And, and the reason I bring it up is because um, I saw her. Oh. And she was. She, like, she oh, looked are lonely. You, are you single? Oh. She, look, she looked lonely. You didn't hit her? <laughs> <laughs> Remember this? And it's just amazing how, as a man, it's, you know, when you know you love someone and you try to just give them that, they always got. It's always something. Because. You're there. You're present. So being present, you have to deal with that. Not being there, then they realize, like, wow, he was a good guy. So sometimes you have to disappear for them to realize you are yeah. a good person. It's not on you. It's on them. Because when you were there, you was trying to do the right thing. So now that I'm gone, like you say, you've seen them and they look miserable. Because 
Now they just out of it now. I have nobody even to complain to now. Right, or complain about. Right, right. You women just need to get yourselves together, man. Stop, you know, just stop. I mean, I recognize when you have a good thing. Stop. It's, it's, it's that, it's that. even on the female side, it's that false bravado. You know, when you just see him on there, oh, yeah, I'm. you know, it's, it's all that. Because when you go home and you cry yourself to street, cry yourself to sleep with the fucking light on because you're scared of the dark. Bobby Womack, if you think you're lonely now, wait Bitch, until the night. wait until the night, girl. Bitch. Yeah, that's just... That's what it is. It's all that false bravado, you know? But a lot of women are not like that. A lot of women are just docile in their thoughts, and they just like, look, this is this, this is how I am. I, I feel a certain way. Please don't do this. Please, I, Then you can respect that, but, you know, as having human, you got to cross that line. You're just going to do it. But it, it's not out of malice. I mean, I could see... Here's the thing that kills me. It's like... I'm I'm not an alcoholic. I'm not a drug abuser. I mean, I'm so I'm. I, you got a good man. Right. All right. I'm loyal to you. Mm-hmm. Okay. You know where I am. You got a key. I got a key. So everything is on the up and up. Right. And 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 you you. This makes you feel that way. But you Uh-oh. can't, like you said, those things you put out there, they won't contract their minds to those things. I'm still going to stay with this because you worrying about other outside stuff that's wrong. And then. If I'm trying to give it to you right, you still concentrate on all the other stuff that's wrong. Yeah, I think that's the key. It's it's you concentrate on the wrong. Right. And, and that, simply that, some some people, male, female, are just attracted to the drama. They yeah. just they need that. That's their energy. Right. That's what they need. That's what gets them going that's every their day. Fuel. That yeah, that's their, their adrenaline. Fuel. I need the drama. You know, I need you to come at me to show me if you care enough. Yeah, they need, it's just unnecessary. They need, they need the hot new gossip. Yeah. Does that say beak? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm Lewis Dix. TDP. Jeff Arnold. Uh, what's the name of the show? In a man's world. Tighten up your belt. Our producer lady just held up a Allegedly. word that said beak, which meant, I saw the R. It was break. Mm. We'll be right back. Yeah, Uncle I like L. that. I like that. Come on, man. Now, that was grooving. Yeah. Queens, baby. Who was the girl? That was you. <laughs> uh, you don't remember when you cut that track? <laughs> hey, we're back. Uh, I'm Lewis Dix. CDP. Jeff Arnold. And uh, welcome back, Jeff. Missed welcome you last back. week. Yeah. He was uh, on assignment. He was on assignment. Um, and the name of the show is? In a Man's World. Tighten up your belts. Uh, we want to thank you all for listening. Um we want to wish um, Speedy and um, his his talentless people over there. At the they got a new show. They got a new studio. Too soon. Yeah. yeah so yeah. we wish them. They have no talent over there. They have no talent. How do you same, know? LB? Is it the same crew? When, uh, yeah. How I mean, do you know? Because you have. Uh, come on, man. Now you sound like MJ taking shots at LeBron. I mean, yeah. come on, man. Come on. Kawhi it, Leonard. He's the best two takes, player in the game it's, right it's, now. No, it's, like, it's kind of like. Okay. What are they bringing? Speedy bounces off real talent. Okay. That's his talent mm-hmm. that he you know, can set up, and then he'll piggyback. You can yeah. tell a funny joke, and then Speedy will tell another one. Okay. Nikki Pam, she can read a little bit. Mm. Wow. Okay. She's not really funny. She's not, you know, well, she, she, yeah. she's running out of people to know. <laughs> so, Celebrities. Yeah. So, she done been through them all. Who else? File. Who else How do you is, run out of people to know, Andy? I, that's just what I'm saying. The girl Tangie has a lot of talent. She has talent. Yeah, she's a, she's, she's, she's very spiritual. Yeah, she's got talent. She's mm-hmm. just a nice person. And who else is on the show? I have no idea. All no. right. Well, we wish them the best. Do uh, we? Yeah, I do. Always. We always want um, our uh, the talentless to win. Yeah, uh. and talentless is winning. They're good. they're probably going to be a hit. <laughs> oh, they winning. In, it's in a movement. I like their studio. Look, because like I like the clocks with the comedians. Oh, okay. Yeah, because they had my it? boy Doc. I saw it on Facebook thing. Oh. Mm-hmm. So we wish them the best and uh, good luck. They're going to be starting up soon. Okay. I guess oh, they haven't started yet. They're still asking people for money. Oh, um, oh wow! Uh, <laughs> they start their GoFundMe page all day long. You know that's the that's hey Speedy got to get them sneaks. Um, <laughs> I, I'm starting a GoFundMe page um, um, to help me pay my mortgage, so I won't have to get out here and rob a motherfucker. Mm. No, but we wish them the best. Uh, and and you know we keep it real. We're gonna clown. We we got that's what we do. It's the art of the art. Yeah, it's what we mm-hmm. do. So we we. But they you know, take it serious, though. 
No, we ain't got to worry about it. Ain't nobody. Ain't nothing. Right. What, what, what's she going to do? Take a jean jacket and swing it at us? I mean, come on. No. Um, so you don't have to worry about Speedy stealing your jokes. Yeah. So, all on the mic. Yeah. So, come to a man's world. Yeah. So, uh, you know, we love we love Speedy. He looked good on that private jet. Y'all lay down a gauntlet uh, like that? You know. All up in your joke and whatnot. <laughs> You ain't got to worry about the producer. Right. Like, all up in your joking. You know, just. That's funny. I just got it. Right. <laughs> Same thing she said. I just got, I just got it. The Suge Knight. Okay. Right. I just got it with Puffy. Okay. Yeah. Right. yeah and that's because I watched. Uh, that Straight out of Compton. No, I watched the. the Defiant one. Defiant one. That was mm-hmm. good. Yeah, I, that was good. It was, it was all good. right. It was okay. And and Last Chance You was was a little weak this this season, the second season. Who? Last Chance You. It's another Netflix um, nah, thing about nah, the, nah, about the junior Netflix. college. No, Defiant is that thing. Dr. Dre is he is. Yeah, he's, he is he's truly a, he's, the. Yeah, he's a talented guy. Um, so listen. He's um, truly the music man. Yeah. Um, uh, we were talking about uh, before the break. We were talking about things that men do. I'm sure, and women, that things that we give up or we no longer do because the things the, you change for your other significant yeah, in a relationship. Other. Yeah. So male give us or a, female, give us a call and let us know some of the things that you've changed that might have helped you or you decided uh, you'll never do that again. Uh, three two three. Only thing I do is change my underwear. Two nine three. Three three seven oh, five. Zip code. And shit. a shout out to I saw I saw <laughs> change a lot. I saw Seymour jumping rope oh, on bless her heart. Facebook. Oh wow. Mm-hmm. She's got some strong shoulders. She looks, you really be checking her out, LG. Yeah, she has she has yeah. something on her arm. I guess that was a little When you tore through thing. Dallas. Is she from Dallas? I don't know. I don't know. It depends she's... on where her bike at. <laughs> <laughs> but she was jumping rope and it's just she's just so she's so cute. She's now nice you an avid Facebook user do you go on facebook a lot no i don't i don't write on it a lot but i i, I go through it and, and you're a troll and yeah when i go to the bathroom okay oh, are wow. you that's my no, book i'm not on it are you on facebook at all no, no i'm not on it either. so i you know i'll go through and like oh okay <laughs> and look at the um, i hear through facebook through LD. I'll, a lot of dick gregory videos i'll look at like malcolm x speeches and stuff okay. like that right. you know and then a couple of people all make huh? me laugh some people make me laugh somewhere and it's who are a lot these of people? funny people. It's a few funny people on Facebook that that um. I mean, you know, I like following like Aaron Gladman because okay. he's spiritual, you know, and he's Allegedly. always doing something with his his kids and wife and family. So yeah. I, I like he's a good father, I like yeah. the memes that he makes up. No, I don't. I don't, like, I don't like that. I don't like the memes, but who I like made the Aaron. uh the run late the run late video? Yeah. Now I like the run late shirt. Yeah, we, we gonna rock with that. Yeah, I we like that the run late. That that, that that look that look nice. Ag, we like that. Um, but um. You know, it's a couple of, during football season, a couple of people I mess with on Facebook. Can't wait, huh? You know, who are, I know, I'm, I that, saw that little weak cowboy game. <laughs> I, I didn't see it. I, I had this, I was jonesing for some football, so, and like, I guess. Now, were you able Hall to enjoy the whole game? No, no, I was flicking back to CNN and stuff like that mm-hmm. and, and trying to see if I can get Girl Trip on Fire Stick. Um, really? <laughs> but it wasn't streaming yet. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Um, the twenty dollars ain't got you a new yet. addiction. Yeah. But right? I saw Kidnap. That was a good movie. You said that. I, that was a good movie. I just, you know, um, but you don't think she gets pigeonholed in the same role? And I was reading some of the funny posts about yeah, the one guy said right. that um, the guy, the little kid, didn't get kidnapped. He ran away. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but that, I mean, you know, she really, she, she. I saw a clip of um, Jungle Fever with they showed. Um, Samuel L. Jackson uh, asking for money and dancing. And mm-hmm. That was a great scene. Mm-hmm. That was a great scene. I like getting nah, high. That was it. Gator. Oh. Yeah, Gator. Don't make me do it. Yeah, yeah, and Halle Berry. Halle Don't Berry. make me do it, if, if, if you listen to Halle Berry when, when him and her at the park, Talking to um, uh, Snipes, yeah. um, you can hear Halle Berry saying, "I'm on the swing. I'm, I'm doing the swing. I, let me just do my swing." She's on the swing. <laughs> and that's, just, that's just that's terrible because I remember at the time when that movie was coming out, everybody was talking about boycotting it and yada yada yada. But that was actually a good movie. It was a good film. I thought it was a good. I thought Samuel L. Jackson, and Halle Berry was. Good. Yeah, so yeah, it was. That, yeah, they made it over. They, they they made it good. You know. Yeah. Good. The other stuff was. was it was there. Yeah. It was just there. But yeah. they were the movie. You if, the movie. if you had done. Don't make me do it. Yeah. Mama. If you had done. If you had done the movie on them. Yeah. That that was. Yeah. That I don't was, know if that's correct, but I think Samuel L. Jackson had just got out of rehab. 
and I was uh, yeah around that time yeah yeah that time yeah. And, oh he had it down and since then he been he's been rocking. Yeah, he had, he had, he had no pun crack. intended. He said, I'm a crackhead. He said, yeah, don't, yeah. Make, don't make me go hit nobody over the head. Right. He just, you know, crackheads was 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 watching the DVD clapping. <laughs> that's, that's me. That's, that's me, me right there, yeah. I got that, you know. I, I helped him. I gave mm-hmm. him, you know, pointers. So um so if you uh if you have a uh situation or something that you gave up, um and I'm sure it'll be more calls for men, because women very seldom give what up. What did you things. give up? What was the most significant thing gave you up, gave up in a, in a gave relationship? Up myself when I got married. Oh, um, there you go. Um, I um, let me see. I um. So is it really giving up, or is it a sacrifice? Was it a compromise, or is it a negotiation? Well, it just depends on how much you love the person and how bad you want to please them, because that's you know one of the first things you do. I mean, look, no, that's not everybody. Because okay. there's some cats that are just hard. They're going to do them. Right, right, right. And the woman's going to go along. Mm-hmm. I know cats who just, you know, but I'm sure no matter even how hard they are, certain things that they they have to, you have to tweak. Mm-hmm. You have to say, all right. No, I, some I, of the hardest ones, though, when they fuck up and they know they fuck up, they turn into wimps when they want to catch them. Mm-hmm. They turn into wimps. Yeah. They're like, oh, baby, you know, I'm sorry. You know, she was a friend. I ain't know, you know, it really didn't go, go that way. You know, I, I it's not know. what you think it is. <laughs> it's the number one line. But I, 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 when I try to think about something that I gave up, um, bitch, I gave up my time. You know, I, I stayed home when the kids were born. Right. I didn't go out yeah, that's on tour. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's you know, I stayed home. So you know, that was a sacrifice. I feel like yeah. I sacrificed getting that hustle on and going out there because I wanted to be a part of their life more. And then, because she said um, I was flying back and forth to Philly. Because okay. I was working on You Bet Your Life. And mm-hmm. she hit me with, I feel like I'm a single mother. You're never here and all that. But, you know, you want to live a certain way. Right, right. So, you know. Yeah, how does how does a man adjust to that? Just because I can't be here and make money at the same time. I, I just, I can't do it. I it's can't hard. do it. They yeah. don't even allow me to do that. It's hard. Yeah, you got to, I mean, you got to make a choice. You got to fi- try to, as tough as it is, you have to find a balance. Do you just ignore what you hear and just 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 no do no it, just you do it, you just you do go it? about your hustle and then the time that you do have off you you max out with them okay you you then you do everything that they say but it's never enough no it's, it's never, never enough. enough yeah it's never, never enough, enough. Yeah. never enough that's why they're women it's never enough they're not even they're not even enough for themselves mm. that's why a lot of them can't keep the same friend uh, fact free have you ever sacrificed time. in a relationship have you ever Sacrifice something. You can see how she looked at yeah, you. She's, she's never yeah, done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? I took you my hit my blunt. They got. They got <laughs> the, your own blunt. They got. They got the stuff. They don't have to sacrifice. Could you speak for the women? Ah, uh, yes, we do, Lewis. Mm. What, what? Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> look at that look. What, what? What was? What have you sacrificed? I think I sacrificed <laughs> <laughs> time. On a man, there was really no hope for. Mm. Why you put my business out there? Like <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't want to say no names. Yes. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Nigga time. Little credit and yeah, shit there was. You. A, time. I I was involved with a guy who had a drug addiction. Mm-hmm. Once again, and why you I put spent, my shit out there? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm I spent time now. trying to get him clean when he didn't want. Okay, it. but what what have you? St- did you have you ever stopped doing something that a guy said I don't like you doing that I need you to change that? No. Hmm. Let's see, I don't like you sucking the now, right nut. Suck the left more. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wow, Daddy. Really? Have 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 you ever has a guy ever done something or did it like maybe spit or or came home late all the time something that you say hey if you want to stay in this relationship you need to yeah, change yeah you stay off drugs if you want to stay no it's not <laughs> something other no, than I'm that just playing. Like, now when did I, it get to you know. the most when he was what is he started hitting you for money for it no it's just the, it, him staying out mm-hmm. just it was just not it's, yeah. if you ever days. been with Someone addicted to drugs. It's not. I'd rather get high to be around her. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> God damn. Damn, really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, man, that's probably what he was thinking. Yeah, exactly. Shit. Yo, man, you need to go home. Yeah, no. <laughs> Let me hit it one more time. Man, I came home, man. Shit. Let me get high to go home and deal with this shit. 
Wow, really? So was it early in the relationship, halfway in the relationship that you found or out? Or did you or? know coming into it? Um, I didn't know coming into it, I f- mm-hmm. but I did find out early in the relationship. How early? How long had you been Probably dating? Probably like a month. Oh, wow. When he yeah. stole my paycheck. Now, now, a month, how did you find out and what was the circumstances? I caught him. Caught him what? Going in Getting my purse. High. Getting hot. Was it crack? In the, yeah, in the bathroom. Oh. So he had a little pipe? <laughs> Close the you, door. You do that pretty good, uh, Jeff. <laughs> he was in the bathroom. He didn't uh, open the door. How long was he in the bathroom? For like 30 minutes. And you don't hear no did you knock? Knock? And, uh, and what did he say? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you smoked crack. Hey, y'all need some more toilet paper in here. <laughs> <laughs> That was, What's up? That was. That was. That was. What's up? What's up? That was funny timing. Can a nigga use the bathroom? You out of hot water? <laughs> Somebody in the chat room said I kicked him out for smoking all my weed. <laughs> Uh, that was just that was. Oh funny hell time. no! <laughs> right, where my weed at? Get the Shit, fuck out! That the fuck was out. funny. That was funny. So, <laughs> so you said you knocked on the door. He didn't open the door. He didn't open the door. And about ten minutes later, I bust that motherfucker open. Wow, with your shoulder? <laughs> yeah. Jeez, yeah. everybody lay down. Yeah. So you did? You busted? Wait a minute. <laughs> yes. Okay. Because I thought something was wrong. Oh, okay, but hold it up. was. Here's my thing. <laughs> You fucking up my high. Oh, okay, so wait, you were knocking and yelling and all that, right? Yeah. Oh. And he he didn't. At first, he's like, "I'll be out." I'm coming out. <laughs> and he didn't put the stuff away. No. So when you bust the door open, he had the pipe up. <laughs> it was it was. Just I need to some. Like. <laughs> I was like, you gotta go. Can I have some me time? <laughs> wait, wait. Go. What did he say when you when you bust the door open? For real? <laughs> what? The <laughs> fuck? Yo, my man. <laughs> Are you serious? Damn. I'm trying to get high by myself. <laughs> the fuck? I ain't fucking with you, Can honey. Can get Damn. high in peace? Did I say hi to you when I came in? <laughs> Shit, what else you want? Yeah, man, dude, I told you I had to go to the bathroom. God damn. <laughs> wait, wait. Was he sitting on the toilet? Yes. Oh, pants wow. down, nigga. Was his pants, his pants no, wasn't his down. pants weren't down. Mm-hmm. Kind of how was he enjoying <laughs> shit? <laughs> you got your clothes Damn. off, do that shit. Damn, you know. Yeah, All you right, gotta so be free. I'm free. Used to smoke crack. I'm, 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 I'm free <laughs> base. <laughs> no, I'm free base. I'm not gonna lie. I'm free base. <laughs> that's smoking crack. Same no, that's thing. that's not the same thing. Free no, base. No, my dad that said was, that's the difference. It's a difference. Free What's base, the difference? It's a free better base, high. Yeah, the free base high. is real. Yeah, oh, it's a better high. Better Did you get high. a number out and have an expert call in and let us know? <laughs> You got to be that chef boy. What's ID the difference with the, with between that? crack and free base? My, my dad said it's a difference. He it's said the he difference in the cocaine. It's a cleaner high. Yes. Yeah, it's because the crack is cheap. And, yes. and, 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 uh, crack is all whack. Kind of shit yeah. in when it. you free base, you know. You like, God damn. Mm. Oh, shit. Nah, this nigga for the, let's not you talk take about your this. You got clothes <laughs> up on that one. God damn. Get up on nigga. Crack little, conversations yes. with Jazzy. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, I got I got the next five hundred, nigga. What? <laughs> God damn! I got the eight ball roll. <laughs> nigga, you be calling that dope? Hey, bitch, you selling cocaine tonight? It's the bitch. Meet me at the White Castle and bring a sixteenth, bitch. Damn, this nigga having flashbacks. Yes. Oh. I'm telling you, when you do that, the ether because you have the torch mm-hmm. and you have the ether. That shit, I have not free based. In 32 years. Allegedly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but the ether is still in my system. Okay. It's still in my ether? system. Yes. Sometimes if I, and that should have come up, and Ew, I'm like, yeah. Damn, wait a minute, you must wait have minute, that, a lot. So that kale oh. didn't help that? No, <laughs> kale. no. But once it's ingrained in your system, that shit is there. I mean, you you know, you talking to a motherfucker that free base with Chef Wardy with that test tube with Somebody the Somebody said, get your daddy on the phone. <laughs> you know, yeah, my daddy's shit. Hilarious. Pull that <laughs> kale. <laughs> then clean it up. No, that's a good thing, though. So, I mean, it's just, it, no, it was done, what it was. I've never done that shit. I can't. Oh uh, yeah, that's that's uh, that was funny. That was funny. We <laughs> <You> said so. <laughs> Take your clothes off. Oh yeah, man. That's, uh, get comfortable. That's like, yes. Um, have a girl down there with that and you just mm. take a hit 
There you and go. When that hit coming to call that Godfather, you feel that just big fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody better watch Jeff before when he leaves here. <laughs> Jeff gonna bring back freebasin. But no, that's that's what I'm saying. But that's having the experience. He he know he's been there. Then you know he can talk to somebody who ain't been there, who's trying to go there. But that's, that's the that's, thing they say. Say once you take that first hit freebase, you chasing that mm, because there's nothing. Yeah, you, there's there's nothing like it. Yeah, that's what my dad said. Yeah, there's yeah. nothing like it. Once you take that first hit, you like man. Wow. Better than say, and it's like, not it's not that way with crack. No, no, I never smoked crack. You know, I did the real shit. So yeah, yeah. So, so. Uh, but anyway, yeah. So. Damn, I need to go free base. Uh oh. No, I'm good. Uh, <laughs> oh Lord! Oh God! I don't want to be responsible. In a man's world. <laughs> yeah, really. Uh, <laughs> next episode. Uh, Where's Jeff? <laughs> Looking for a little lint in the carpet. <laughs> Oh yeah, you know that meme is coming, man. That meme is coming, man. I can't wait to see it. <laughs> what, Jeff smoking free man. Oh my god, is that uh, a rock right there? Man? So sacrificing, yeah. Yeah. I, so I, I felt like I. Oh, so anyway, after I busted in the door, mm-hmm. um, I, he had to leave, and uh-huh. then I felt bad because I never dealt with an addict before, so. Mm. Did you take him back you, in? You put him, you put him I out. I took him back under the condition that he go to rehab. So wait a minute. You put him out <clears throat> right at that moment? Yeah, he had to go. Mm-hmm. Did he pack stuff? He packed and he had to go. Put all that shit in that backpack. Like, let's go. So when he got to the door, did he turn around and try to hug you or say, Move, bitch, I forgot my pipe. <laughs> <laughs> you want a hug? No, bitch, I forgot my pipe. <laughs> so where did he go? Probably to a crack house. Sit under the stairs. Ain't go far. Hmm. It's it's such a long story. I could write a book on just that relationship alone. It was crazy. So how long so did it take I, you to take him back? Yeah, how long how long did it did before he came I think back? A couple of days. Mm, damn. Because I quit. I ain't gonna do this shit no more. You mean more than me? He went that to pipe, rehab. And it's some bullshit. He mm-hmm. did go to rehab. So how long but did he, he was in there getting high. Yeah. So and then one that's day he just told me at. that he didn't want to stop. And so yeah. I, that's when I drew the line. Is he still alive? He's still alive. Yeah. He's still smoking crack? Probably. Yeah. Oh, wow. And what this, was his profession? And this was over, <clears throat> this was about really 20 years ago. Huh. What was his profession? Um, he was a professor before he met her. <laughs> 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 it's driving me crazy. <laughs> driving me to get high. Hey, Jeff, bring me one of them things. <laughs> bring me an eight ball, man. <laughs> Cook that shit up. <laughs> He's what, what? a writer for a magazine. Oh, oh is he still writing? Uh, I don't know. I don't. I no, stay far write. as far away as possible. Did he yeah. have kids? Yes. Hmm. Wow! Wow! He sold them too. Give <laughs> <laughs> me for this little blonde hair boy right here. <laughs> you want a son for the weekend? Give me forty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, mate. Just give me $40, man. You ain't got no matches on you. It's terrible. It's terrible. Sad. You know, with it's somebody sad. that doesn't hey, want... Hey, little nigga, you ain't no But athlete. I did learn that you can't help anybody who does not want to That's true. help themselves. Did it period. make you cry? No, I was glad to get out of it. Because they bring you down. Yeah, yeah, they bring you down. It's too much pressure. And that's the key in a relationship, too, LD. You can't love somebody who ain't ready to be loved. That's just like a or, drug. Or, it's or, like or a who's drug. not capable of loving. Yeah. They love the substance more than they love you. Mm-hmm. Nigga, you don't Somebody need them Jordans. Say we going to come back next week get a bike to go be gone. <laughs> <laughs> I had nothing to do with that. I had shit to do with that. <clears throat> <clears throat> Always blaming me. <laughs> y'all check my car. I'm going to help y'all look for him when I finish. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look over there. <laughs> Why y'all looking at me and shit? <laughs> Just because I get high, y'all going to look at me? <laughs> That's fucked up, I think. Yeah. What you mean with that black cord is? That black cord come from my power, too. <laughs> Somebody, that's funny. Who said that in the chat room? Shout out to D-Cos. D-Cos and Apollo Legend. That was funny, D-Cos. That's funny. Hilarious. That was funny. The mic's see, when you tell your personal stories, and the motherfucker going be like looking at you, see, man. Love and drugs is on the same level, man. You hey, can't man. help those that don't want to be. Yeah. True. Same level. Hey, um. We want to, uh, I think you have some videos, right? Videos of the week. Because we, um, 
We have one video that uh, Jeff Jeff wants to turn this into world star. No, it was just oh, wow. no, just to show people this is you know because everybody like talks about Chicago and and how bad That's your it city. is. Yeah, but how bad it is, and they like they don't really understand. And when I saw this video, me and my brothers were talking about it, and a couple of friends when I was back in Chicago. And it's like nothing has really changed, right, right, right? Because that's how we grew up. From the time you grew up to now, it's like yeah. Okay. So, and that's how we grew up. That's how we walked down the street. I remember walking down the street with my buddy Ted, and mm -hmm. we were ten years old, and he had a gun. Okay. You know, and older motherfuckers was fucking with us, mm -hmm. and we knew Ted had a gun, and that was protection. Right, right. So, I mean, it's just the way of life in Chicago. Right. It's unfortunate that it is that way. It's the reality. Yeah, but I mean, it's just that's just how it is. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I'm assuming that's setting the video up. <laughs> okay, wait a minute. I, I, <laughs> As being a proud father that you are, LD, how do you I, I adjust was to that? Okay, f okay, first of all, how, how old were those little kids? They were about like 9 or 10. Mm -hmm. But that's how we grew up, though. But wait a minute. The old, those other guys were older. Yes. Right, in the car. Yes. Mm -hmm. And they talk shit to you like that. And the thing that was interesting is those older guys talking shit to them kids on the street. That motherfucker didn't want to find out if it was a, if it was a, a, a cat right, gun. Right, right, right. He didn't want to take that chance. Mm hmm I mean, but when my younger brother showed me, that's why we was, when I was in Chicago, we were sitting around and that's what we were saying. Nothing's changed. I remember walking down the street with my buddy Ted. And he had a 32. And motherfuckers in that, that age bracket, they didn't have cars. They was on bicycles. They were fucking with us, talking shit to us. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. That was disheartening. That was sad. It was real. It's, it's but real. That's, that's the life it's in real, Chicago, man. man. That's what these kids yeah. are faced with. That's, 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 that's a fourth, third, fourth grader. Yeah, going to school with a gun. Hiding it. Not they weren't it going. Were they going on their way to school? No, but he carries. I, 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 I bet anything he carries that pistol to school with him every day. Yeah. I mean, they sound like grown men. The yes. little boys. Yes. Yeah. That's the way of life. They you weren't. Grow up, they didn't flinch at all. Man, you grow up fast. Come on, man. You grow up fast. And he had. He was clapping back at him by yes. the chip too. Thing. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yo, yeah. chip too fast. <laughs> and then see that motherfucker and is like, yo, I, you know. Fact, Frida. I have another video too. I want to show. Mm. Oh, oh, we got a me, double let me, let me digest this one. That was sad. Hey, Amen. But that's that's our kids in Chicago, man. Well, let's double up because this is along the same lines, but okay. it's a okay. girl this time. Okay. What? If I get you to my house, I'ma shoot you. If I get you at the park, I'ma kill you. Oh, I tell you, what you want, bitch? The gun. Fuck you, bitch. This is our youth, man. The only problem I had with that video, she didn't have her seatbelt on. <laughs> That's the only problem I had. That, what? Yeah, exactly. She could fall out the car. <laughs> now, that gun was real? Yeah. Yes. She had a taser, too. <laughs> Pink taser. It was cute. Hey, man. This is our youth, man. Hey, man. This is what, this is, that's inner city life right there. You got to take your head out the sand, LD. This is what we up against out here, man. And now you, and now, now and, and not, we had the think? conversation earlier when y'all looked at me. Now imagine them kids hungry. Them motherfuckers yeah, eating Funyuns. Yeah. Host is Twinkie. They ain't got nothing solid in their stomach. Now, do Skittles. You, do you yeah. feel. And Arizona iced tea. How often do you think those kids hear, I love you? Not often enough. They ain't trying to hear that. Yeah. It didn't they work for you. That. So why do you think it's going to work yeah. for me? They ain't trying to hear Nigga, that. love ain't paying no bills. Love ain't putting no money in my pocket. I mean, that little girl is, she, she sounds like she's been through hell. And I'm, she's ready to, to, to put hell on the other I'm going to say this. One night, <clears throat> I'm hitting the corner. Kids walking across the street. But I'm, I'm zoned out, really. So I'm hitting the corner. They coming. I'm like, oh, shit, I slam on the brakes. So then my man, he kind of like looking. I roll the window. Then I said, man, y'all gone. I got you. He said, oh, good-looking OG. And the motherfucker had a motherfucking Mac 11 on him. I don't know where they was going, but <laughs> yeah. they was ready. 
they was ready. You know what I mean? It's just like, you got to see it, man, because they out there with confidence. They don't give a fuck. You say anything wrong, you're going to get it. You trying to be, you know, you trying to be helpful. Oh, y'all should be in the house. And like, man, take that, man. Talking about we out here, man. We out here. And we dealing. We ain't got no parents. I tried to explain to you a long time ago. That's what they own right now. We're going to go cop. We're going to go get high. We're going to eat a ding dong and all that nothing nutritious. This is what we own. And nigga, we trying to get that meal, and we ain't taking no for an answer today. This is what we own. You know, a, a lot of people on the West Coast, when I talk to them, you know what a viaduct is, right? No. Okay, it's like you walk like a block, and it's like it's like a tunnel. It's like a long tunnel. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And that's how we had to get to school. We had to go through that, and it's like a, a, a block and a half long. And that was the only way we can get directly to the school, or you had to go around an about way that took you like 30 to 35 minutes around the way. Mm -hmm. And the bus would never go through there. Sometimes Chicago police would be in there with their lights on or nothing and all that. Sometimes they wouldn't. Right. But that was the direct way to get to school. And they, the, the, the street lights that was in the vida, in the tunnel, they were always usually knocked out. Mm -hmm. So you saw light at the, at the end. Right. And you saw right. the school. And every morning the bus dropped you off, the bus driver would be like, good luck. Yeah. And the kids and all that. And we hug each other, kiss each other, and we be like, yo, man, go. Yeah. Go. And you just run. Some mornings you hear shots. Some mornings you have a safe passage. Mm -hmm. One day we got out of school, you said, you know, Jeremy, he got shot. Said, what? Just with him this morning. Yeah, he got shot twice in the leg. And then you see police tape and all that, and that's how you grew up. And that was our way to go to school. So imagine that's what you have to go through just to get to school. Now you in class trying to learn. Now you trying to go to basketball practice. We really not thinking about all of that. We thinking about how the fuck we going to get home. We got to run through this tunnel. It's 6 o'clock at night. That's when shit is really on. Motherfuckers got robbed up in there. They got raped. I mean, but that's just the way. And that's what, you know, I tried talking to my son and his friends about. The litman test that I've passed and I to, to turn 55 at the end of September. Yeah, I've seen and I've been through a lot. Mm -hmm. Going back to Chicago, and I'm like, all it is is just that it's just glorified. It's just glamorized because you have this now. But ain't shit changed. September 25th? 28th. I thought it was 28th. I'm going to say this at that point, too. It, being in high school, right down the goddamn street. Every year of school and every week of that, because, you know, football is first and then basketball right. and then baseball. Through football, basketball, and baseball, somebody was getting killed every day. So even like coaches would say, you know, bringing in guys such and such got murdered, even if it was from our school, if it was surrounding school, every week. So – that was the energy we played under too. Like, man, yeah. such a such ain't here no more. Like, so we that's what really got us to go out there and kick ass. Cause we was playing for we weren't playing for ourselves. We was playing for the people who just got killed, you know? And it and it's, it's like you say, nothing's changed. It's, it's it's different now. It's but nothing has changed. It's the same shit. So you know, dogs travel in packs, man. So, you know, you got the dudes out there in the packs, and then you don't know how that pack is going to react. And then you got, you know, the long wolves out there, too, and, and you don't know how they're going to react when they see the pack and the pack see the long wolf. So that entity just doesn't change. You just got to know how to maneuver through it. Like the, like you said, the disheartened part of it's it tough. is the older guys in the car. Right. right. They should be, like, not antagonizing them little kids. You know, they should be like, hey, man, why you got that gun? Right. That's you know, why are you how, doing could, that? how can they say that when that's what they got when they was their age? Exactly. And that's what they got on them now. Like what he said, man, I blast all three of you little motherfuckers and take y'all chucks. Right. You know, so this is what you, and, and it, like you said, it, it was passed down because I remember me and my homies walking down the block and older motherfuckers fucking with us. Right. But they weren't in cars. Some of them were in cars, but they was in bicycles. Mm -hmm. They threw up their shirt. Nigga, you see that? What? You know? We got that, too. Trying to go to Fat Burgers and all that. Trying to get something to eat. Right, go back to practice and all that. Get the cone and, and just let off on you. Because, you know, y'all them. It, yeah, because when I first moved out here, I heard about Crenshaw over there. On, in that man. little area over there, 54. On, I was like, man, it's like, yo, this the danger zone That's over baby here. That's Baby Beirut, baby. Yeah. Baby Beirut. Yeah. Wow. Um, yeah, I'm living in, a, in that fantasy world. 
You live in that bubble. You got to step outside. <clears throat> Come to Chicago with me for a couple of days. That's I'm good. <laughs> um, <laughs> Let me take my pillow. <laughs> I'm good. We got one. I'm good. I'm good. I enjoyed Chicago, too. I did, too. I, I enjoyed Chicago. I, enjoyed Chicago. Chicago too. I enjoyed being over there by the Regal Theater. Mm. 79th. Yeah. Caprini Green, go down there. They, where they tore, uh, they, uh, they tore the projects down. Trying to go see a girl in Caprini Green. Elevator ain't working. Mm. Going up to 16 flights of steps. And she's standing in the doorway. And you on the seventh floor and she yelling down, come on up. Bitch, ain't no lights on the rest of the stairway. No, I'm good. Mm. Come down. No, ain't nobody going to mess with you. No. Wow. Girl, you like the most is always in the, <clears throat> the worst neighborhood. Yeah. I, I'm Lewis Dix. TDP. Jeff Arnold. What's the name of this show? How Strong Is Your Love? <laughs> <laughs> what you would do for love. In a man's world. Tighten up your belts. Wow. We yeah. have a, a meme before we go to break. Uh -oh. Bless your heart. Like the show. <laughs> Better not be me hitting the pipe. <laughs> 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 Hey, oh, Peter, wow. when I asked you to put on a tablecloth, I mean on the table. Yeah, who, who did that? One? Aaron Gladman. That's not a good one. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of that's, good. That's, that's wow. I like the Coke machine in the back. Wow. Let me see it again. Let me see it again. Wow. Say, she said. <laughs> yeah, the, the Coke thing works, but that's the coolest thing. Other than, well, it's, a, it's, it's not a good, that's not, a, that's not one of your that's best. That's the wrong plant. Yeah, it's not one of your best. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a creeping Charlie kind of guy. <laughs> Yeah, that Aaron, yeah, you, you must be busy. Uh, yeah, wah, wah. Wah, wah. yeah, that was a weak one. <laughs> hey, we'll be right back. My nigga. Woo! Rest in power. Prodigy. Prodigy. Who's this? That's that gangster shit. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, they don't play that at Disney. Yeah, we put some fresh prints on for you. We forgot to mention today is President Obama's birthday. That's right. 56. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we pull up Obama's record? His well, he record. got a song? Yeah. yeah, while he was in office for the eight years. Can we pull up his record? Yeah. Can you get that? That Trump, Trump is challenges? trying to erase and everything. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They're trying to erase his whole... His whole existence. Now the, White House, now the White House is a dump since that black man. Yeah, what's the update? There? Do I need to put on your theme music? No. Um, <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, that was hurtful. No. From sunrise to sunset. GDs? GDs, baby. You can bet. Right here. The All anchor day long. Goes deep down in the ocean, but this one is up top. Show your love for your anchor, John Lemon. Where y'all niggas news at? <laughs> I got mine right here. There's no news today. Well, well, as, my, as mom used to say, say, no news is good news. Good news. My I'm mom with used that. to say that all the time. I'm with that. No news. Every time I have to go no, check the No, it's good mail. news coming, you know, uh, the, the, the grand jury. Mm -hmm. They about to really get to it now. My whole thing on this, and this is just one man's opinion. So they built up a that, case now. Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, he about to subpoena people, you know, and they're going to be on the oath. And now, you know, the criminal investigation, mm -hmm. this part of it is about to start happening. My whole take on it, nothing really going to happen until Trump dies. You think? Yeah. Mm. Yes. And I'm See not that? wishing death on him or anything, but everything is going to come out when he dies. Now the and the one that's going to take the hardest, the hit the hardest, yeah. is going to be Ivanka. Because she's going to pay for her father's sins. And there's going to be no empathy throughout the country for her. So not her, not not the little boy? No, Barron is Baron, not going to get it. The one that's going to be the safest is Tiffany. Oh, the, Marla's the daughter. ugly daughter. Yeah, because yeah, she's, she's far away from it. Mm -hmm. But the one that's going to get hit the hardest is going to be Ivanka, Don, and Eric. And what but do you Ivanka, mean hit the hardest? I mean, because miraculously, when his, when his body's laying wherever they, they lay the president at, before they put it in the dirt, all his tax returns are going to be, you're going to be able to see all his tax returns. Right, right, right. And everything is going to come into play. Right. And she's going to get hit the hardest. Like, you knew your dad was this. You knew it was Russia. You knew it was all of this. You know, you doing all of this. And she can't say, well, I didn't know my dad did this. And right, they're right. going to have to ask for you're asylum right. to go to Russia. Because I think, truly, she's going to pay for her father's sins. And I mean, Jared's gonna divorce her. 
gonna be like, I got away from you, bitch. You just like, you just all oh, this shit right here. I'm gonna go get some Jerry from the subway commercial. Exactly. Yeah, he's yeah. deep in jail. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he getting he getting it in jail now. I mean, because uh, he just you know he just blatantly just lies now. So there was a it was be that whole meeting with the um the female Russian the lawyer the lawyer yeah. And all so she said that they did have a meeting, but she didn't say what the meeting was about. Well, no, they they said it was about they had information, you know, that can be damaging to Hillary that was going to help Trump out for the election. Okay, and it the woman that. is tied to uh, really? the KGB. Yeah, she's well. I know. She, I think she's a spy. But like you said, Sarah Huckabee, she just come out there and she's just like, you know, well, <laughs> it's, no. It's a show. I, that <laughs> she don't handle it better than Kellyanne, though. It's, Kelly a, sh- <laughs> it's a show that I've been watching. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's the dumbest show. Which? 90 Day Fiance. Oh. <laughs> it's, Explain. I've never seen it's, it. It's where these couples have 90 days to get married. They're usually from a, one's from America, one's from another country. Okay. So this is now 90 Day Fiance, happily ever after. Now they've been married. They're married now. We're watching them be married. It's just mm-hmm. really funny. And once a Russian girl who's with a fat white boy and, <laughs> and um, she slaps him and tells him she's only with him for his money and all that. Mm-hmm. Um, and um, it's, uh, I don't know what this guy is. He's Latin, whatever. And he's mm-hmm. with this fat white girl. And she's trying to get him deported. And is it better than Married at First Sight? I've never seen Married at First Sight, but this show cracks me up because it's so it's so bad. Well, that's a stupid show. Well, you know, you're politically incorrect. Yeah. It's not fat women. It's BBW. Yeah, Married at First Sight is when they just hook you up and then you just, you know, you don't never meet the woman. She you doesn't know, meet the guy. They just give you a background about the person and then you get married. And then the thing about the whole new Bachelorette, she's a sister, right? Yeah. How's that going? I never even seen the show, I, but I, I heard in twenty three seasons, this is the first time they had a sister. A sister. Yeah. Uh, trust me. Uh, she's down to like I think like maybe three, four when they have overnights. Okay. You know, okay. so they get, I, I read they, they that, get the um, smash. Really. Claudia is going to be on the CJ? million dollar mi- uh, matchmaker. What What is wow. that show about? That this uh, matchmaker. Who's single? <laughs> this bitch can't get a man. But she, she hooking, hooking up other, other people. With, yeah, she yeah, hooks with, up women with millionaires, I, I guess. Is that right, Jeff? Yeah, but the guys be broke, though. Do mm-hmm. they? Yeah. How you know? do you? I watch this shit. The shit is hilarious. Right. I mean, I love all them shows. I mean, I know they scripted, but it's hilarious. The guys are broke? Yeah. Like I'm really not a millionaire. Because the girl who the girl who did it, I remember she had a weight problem, and one of the girls called her out, and then she got in shape and all that, and then they was and doing then she the show. was engaged, and then uh, her fiance found out that you you full of shit, you right? Know I mean? right. I mean, you know, right. I I have to give Claudia credit. She she works really hard, <laughs> CJ. at being a star. Hey man, she wants to be a star really bad. She she puts her work in. Hey, I mean she's gonna be. 75 years old still right. trying to still really? trying to be <laughs> she's it's the hustle I don't know her. her so I mean I've seen her but I don't know I mean she's a beautiful girl she just she gets up at 4 o'clock in the morning she's run I've seen her do that she's the matrix so she should go on married at first sight it's the gift and the curse she's, she's just very she's funny. beautiful outside funny very but funny. inside she's just got very funny she got a whole list of it's things, tough of issues yeah it's tough. it's tough like one of the funniest things on married at first sight my man got married and his new newly wife, his bride, she don't want to have sex. She won't? She didn't. Mm-hmm. She was like, I want to get to know you. He like, bitch, I married the fuck you. <laughs> that's generally why men marry. It's like, oh, this, I, you Th- that's, know. That's just the tough part, you know, because a guy, you, you are built to be physical. Right. And then you want to take that away from me, like... How do I do a, you know what I mean? It's like you, you pulling my wings was, off. Yeah, but she was like, you know, I know we just got married and all that, but, you know, let's slow it down, you know. you know. Let's How do you slow it down from married at first sight? <laughs> yeah. Like, I want to get to know you first. Yeah. She's like, no, we on our honeymoon. Married like, at first try- sight, but we slowing it down. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Let's see if it's really going to work before I, you know, open that's up what, my uh, uh, but Claudia, she's gonna be on Matchmaker. Uh, I wish her the best. Matchmaker, millionaire, I mean, you know, millionaire if, matchmaker. Wow. If Claudia wanted to be famous, she'd just simply just go on the Speedy Rollout Show. She'll make it. Wow. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, we that wish would be her the some best. Talent. We have another meme. Oh lord. Really? My Aaron again? 
This dude. He's at work. This is what he does. <laughs> yeah, he has. That's what the crack crack. Hey, <laughs> John. <laughs> 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 Uh, is that, is that um, that's flavor flavor? Yeah. I like my dog though. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah look at y'all, man. Crack Chron- Chronicles, yo. That was I fun. Like that that's, a, that's, that's a good one. That's a good one. one. Way to bounce back. He must have hit the pipe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't that the guy? But see, that's the thing. Philly. In the Black America, you you have either crackhead, a drug addict. Mm. Or a, a a gay person America. in your family. Yeah, you do. Yeah. Well, I would think that isn't that all families then? Yeah. I mean, yeah. 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 European, yeah. they got a yeah. they got a gay, they got a yeah. they got meth. There is no, probably no, meth. No, here's the thing. Here's the thing. And we could take Beverly Hills. We could take Bel Air. We could take wherever you live. Right? You can take one fucking Martha's Vineyard. Them motherfuckers die of heroin overdose in them big ass castles every, every day. day. Man. Yeah. But that shit don't make the news. Mm-hmm. Every day, man. Them ambulances and them goddamn pyramids, they rush it up to them castles. New Hampshire, too, like, yeah. Agree, yeah. agree, agree. Heroin has come um, back big time now. Big time. Big time. And I'm just putting that, th- I never did heroin. Yeah. yeah. So I'm good. Yeah, yeah I, I just. The opiates are, is that right? Yeah, opiates, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. yeah they taking over now, yeah. I mean, I don't Prescription like going to the doctor getting a needle. But exactly, you, giving you, blood, every you know. Every day you putting a needle in you. Now, are you on any type of prescribed medic- uh, medication? No. Are you? Mm-mm. Okay. No. I'm not. No. Um, I got a buddy who I just saw, you know, he had like four, like, strokes. Mm-hmm. So now he has to take, like, like 20 some pills a day so he couldn't get the first stroke right no yeah but that's like even like you know <laughs> half of my heart ricky you know he rest in power like, taking like 20 pills a day yeah and i'm like damn dude. yeah i saw um something i was watching and he was uh something on tv about some music and i saw him um oh it was the dramatics Mm-hmm. The unsung on the dramatics. Ta-da. Yeah, they, ta-da. they showed Ricky, and I was like, wow. Yeah. wow. And yeah. Robin Harris is, um, um, and his anniversary is coming up. He's his uh, comedy show. Is right. Up on, on You're hosting that. August 12th. I believe I am. You are. Who told you that? Come on, man. Robin. Get that funny looking boy. Yeah, that's funny. That's funny. <laughs> with the potatoes. Baby salad, kids. With the but potato just back to the pills, man. You know, some people got 20, 30, 40 pill bottles, man. Just and, to and live. This, and this yeah. pill costs three hundred dollars and this and this don't be covered. You know what I mean? It, yeah. It's ridiculous, man. It is truly ridiculous. The it's p- expensive to be broke. Man. It truly is. Man. And if you're not healthy too? Yes. And then you got all this stress on you, you got a mortgage or rent to pay. You got to keep your utilities on. Mm-hmm. Now you got food, gas, clothing, gas. Mm-hmm. Motherfuckers ain't thinking about health insurance because right. that's like to some people. That's like, well, for your health insurance, you know, an additional hundred and twelve dollars a month. You like nigga, fuck that. Yeah, yeah. I can you know use that. That hundred and twelve dollars can go somewhere else. Just, I'm good. It's just like car insurance. You paying for something that you hope you don't have to use. You yeah, know what I mean that's that's fucked up. Yeah, that's a that's you know it's 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 somebody's it's a, winning, but it ain't up. Yeah, it's a tough grind out here. You just gotta you know you gotta hope that first that God wakes you up every day to deal with then, it. Yeah, then you gotta decide you know do I want to just stay still or am I gonna go one foot you know? What's the t- best part of your day today? It's probably, I guess the best part of my day is, realistically, is seeing Lou say, hearing Lou say, are you ready? Because mm-hmm. okay. that means he's on his way to work. And what's the best part of your day? And hearing from Peyton. Doing good deeds for others. That's, seeing that's Code 3 happy. But, yeah. Doing the best part of my day is the shit I got to deal with. Mm-hmm. If I ain't got to kill a motherfucker. Mm-hmm. That's the best part. Yeah. Okay. I try to stay away from that energy, but I feel you. But no, because I feel you. If some motherfuckers wake up with that, like it's yeah. a good day, mm-hmm. and then you don't know at what point. Okay, when did it go bad? <laughs> you know? Right, I, and that's funny because I was thinking about when did it go bad. Shit. I was thinking about you know? the, yeah, right? Because I, I, 
It's a guy on That's real. on Crenshaw and in Wilshire. Yeah. It's a new guy there. Black guy who stands Homeless. there and listens to music. Yes. Yeah. He He's has a chair there, there too. He right. doesn't he sit he has a chair now. Okay. Right right there. <laughs> Lazy Two days ago fight. he was standing. Okay. Now he has a he chair. He got tired. Yeah. So you know, and, and it makes and it made me think at what point did those people say I'm done? I'm just gonna stay on the corner. The guy who's been on on that freeway ramp. Right. That build all the horses. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's been there for over 10 years. You made me start. You made me start looking at people like that. Like my man I saw in front of the dime that was just going crazy because he was hungry. You made me start. That was another aspect of me looking at, you know, homeless people like at what point when, like you said, they just said, fuck it. Yeah, I'm done. I'm done. Yeah. I'm not I'm not going to do what America tells me I have to do. Right. I'm not going to work. I'm not going to feel pressure i'm not i'm just gonna be out here right here and sometimes we do because we live under financial pressure right right trying to meet right. shit because right. when bills come and then you get notices and all that and then you got to do and then on top of that you, you get hungry you get eat it's like when a person snaps and shit that's that, to me that's the best part of my day is like me being able to wake up deal what i have to deal with make it home safe because with some people it's like you know some people expect to make it home. Mm-hmm. Some have that expectation right. to make it home. I hope to make it home. Right. When I wake right. up and I leave, it's like, okay, my goal is I hope to make it home the way I left home this morning. Mm-hmm. Safe and sound, you know, healthy. Now, I see, I don't, I, I kind of take it for granted, I guess, that I'm going to get home. Mm-hmm. I'm going to, you know, I just got to drive carefully. Mm-hmm. I just got to, I got enough gas to get there and get home mm-hmm. or I'm not going anywhere. Right. But see, but you got to expand that because this, just think of what you said. You weren't about just being in an auto accident. You could be just walking up, going somewhere, and the motherfucker could be coming out of 7-Eleven, like, da 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 bam. Now, see, I, I think that... That's why your senses, like you was talking, my senses... Are on twenty four seven. Right, mine I'm too. But, but I don't think at everything. Right, but I, I kind of don't. Well, let me say to that point that you're making, because I brought it up last week. For us, I wouldn't say for you, like maybe in Philly, when you see the amount of of death around you, right, and then as a as a as as a child coming up, and you you just come to the realization is like. Am I going to make it to C-16? Am I going to make it to C-18? Am I going to make it to C-21? So when you pass those ages, it's like you really in foreign fucking territory. You're in foreign land mentally because you didn't expect to be here at these times because you see all these, these deaths at a younger age. So now the pressure is still on. You know, they're playing all these games. And then, like you say, you got all these things that you got to do. And then you get a ticket. Like, I can't afford no goddamn ticket. Yeah. Then you want me to go to court, and you want me to do all all this shit, and you, that's you just a, fuck it with my life. That's an extra four hundred and seventy three dollars that I don't have. That I don't have, and you want it. And if I don't pay, you taking my license, and now I really can't. You know what I mean? Now, and if it's that game, you man. taking my license now, you got a warrant out for my arrest. And then you all want me to be. That. Then you want me to be respectful. Yes. Mm-hmm. How can I? You not even respecting me. You not even. You not. And that's where I sit back and think, like, I can see why motherfuckers snap. So that's when the census is on, to your point, is that's why full I'm, circle. Right. right. I'm, I'm, a, I'm observant on everything, on everybody. I don't take for granted. Like, I tell people, and I do it in my stand-up, it's like, you know, y'all good right now. My success is me waking up. Y'all with the tangible things, with the opulence. Y'all want to be flashy with the jewelry, with the money and all of that. I'm good just waking up. That's my success now because you're not guaranteed, and it's fact. It's factual. Right. You're not guaranteed your next breath. You're not guaranteed tomorrow. Mm-hmm. You're not guaranteed to ten o'clock tonight. You guarantee your next breath. Mm-hmm. That's your guarantee. Right. And it's funny because people are so are living such great lives now <laughs> that their phone is on their watch. Yeah. That they, I'm seeing people who will look at their That's, watch yeah. and, and saying such such is calling me and talking their watch. Yeah. And I hope this is not a word, but I'm going to say it anyway. The idiots that see. Yeah. The it, idiots that see of these people and what they think, like you said, like things that they don't know. We were talking about Young Lou with PNPC. The things that they don't know is like it will bring death to them immediately. 
yeah. what they don't know. It would it would really oh because they don't know the street. Him walking there's not there's not an app for the street. But him walking down the street, FaceTiming his homie, and he's not being aware. To me, hungry, with a pistol in my pocket, that's food right there. Oh, no, I can no, take that phone and I can go pawn it and get four hundred dollars real fast. No, no, I, 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 today dropping him off today, I was just looking at him saying that because it was interesting because um, you got these, these these retainer things in his teeth. Okay. Now. Mm-hmm. So we're driving. He's like, oh, I forgot my retainer. Now I was laughing to myself because I'm like, you got you got your do rag, you got your brush, <laughs> you got your phone, you got everything, but your your teeth. Exactly. I'm you. You 24 years old, all right. and you are that clueless that you left out of it because all he took was the case because he opened the case because he was eating a banana and stuff. All right. So in a granola bar. So then when he got done eating, he was going to put his retainer. Mm-hmm. So he opened the case and <gasps> then oh, I gotta go back. I forgot my. Now he's already late. So I'm like, okay, you. Now, how far are you from the house between the airport? Because where you live, in between where LAX is. That's no, he's not going to LA. He's up in Santa Monica, down by 26 in Cloverfield. That's where he's flying out from? No, no, he wasn't going to the airport. That's where he goes to work. Okay. So you're going to Olympic straight down? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. We're, I, we're probably at. Because the past between? couple of days. Yeah, Robinson? No, past couple of days. I've let him drive. I just stayed at home. Okay, gotcha, to go. gotcha, gotcha. So he now knows, tells me, go down uh, Melrose and make a left on Fairfax and then make a right on, on Olympic. Oh, okay. so now you got your way. Right, right, and right. Before right. there was an issue when I wanted to go my way. <laughs> yeah. Right, right. Now, you, now you got your way, and that's right. what happens. You develop right, your right, way. Right. Not knowing that Friday's traffic is always light anyway. Thank you. I'm not going to put that in your head. Mm-hmm. So, no, we're my, maybe at Cursor. We're we're like Kersan. Kersan. Yeah, we're maybe Kersan, yeah. yeah, we're maybe at we're maybe ten minutes into the ride. Okay. So then he realized he doesn't have him. Mm-hmm. Like, well, so you we gotta, gotta go do back. without that one. Ten minutes back. So I'm thinking you really need to have him today. But exactly. I guess you know, but that's his what you were saying, his mindset is I need to have my retainer every day right. because that's what the white doctor told me to. Mm-hmm. So my teeth can be perfect. Correct. Even though I'm not I'm I, cause I'm like, I'm saying to myself, if your boss say why are you late, you gonna say you forgot your retainer. Hey man. And I'm like, and I start thinking, I say, that's you're 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 acting like a 13 year old. Yeah. You're 24, mm-hmm. but your mindset is not. How are you guys gonna raise a family? And when your mindset is, but that's the that's the youth of the day. It's like you said, the phone, the, everything. It, it's these. I'm but the youth of the day who are trying to do are under the gun. They're working two and three jobs mm-hmm. just to make it. But it's some of them. Not to have anything, just to make it. But it's some of them that is not afforded that opportunity to work two or three jobs because it's not presented to them. Correct. The opportunity is not there. I mean, I just came back from where there is no hope. Right. Where there is no economic future, no economic development. Mm-hmm. There isn't. You just got cats just walking up every day, walking the streets, smoking. Mad Max. Yes. Because I was thinking, what made me think about that was, I was thinking about, like, wow, your life is that good to where you can turn around go get your retainer. Then when I went home and got dressed to come here, I said, wow, your life is so good right now, you can put on a pair of white sneakers. Hmm. Hmm. Now, you got to, they only, they're only $45. Yeah. Whereas people run around with four hundred dollars sneakers, but Amen. you still and I was like, no matter how strapped a brother is, yeah, he's gonna have on some white sneaks. Yeah, you got to feel good about something. Right, right. You know, you got to feel good Amen. about something. My whole thing is, like I said, my biggest joke. You know, but to that no point, personal debt with me, all my bills paid on time, and I got forty two dollars in my pocket. I'm the ha- I'm I'm a billionaire. Right, right. I'm balling. Right. right. Can't buy help. But to the point, you like you say, a brother going to make sure he got those white sneaks or whatever. But when is that point when you snap and you don't care no more? Right. You don't care. I'm not I'm not wearing. I'm just going to wear socks. Right. right. I'm just going to walk out there. I'm going to just be. I mean, it's you just really wonder when I look at those people, you just say, man, he just what 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 made him say no more? I'm not going to do what you tell me to do anymore. I'm not going to follow this script. That America's put out for me to, 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 so I, like you said, so I have to have these pressures on me. Yeah, it's like 
One of my favorite shows is like, I watched the first 48 hours. It was a good looking guy. Went to work every day. You know, EMU, doing that, um, transporting patients and all okay. of that. EMT. And yeah, and the, mm-hmm. the motherfucker, he just snapped. He just snapped. Because he said his boss was working him too much. Yeah. He said, he calling me at 2 o'clock in the morning. I just got off at 11. And he told me, I got to go pick up somebody at 5. I'm like, call somebody else. Mm-hmm. God damn it, I'm trying to rest. I work more than 40 hours. I appreciate that. And he just snapped, and he killed his boss. Just like when I was coming Shot here. him eight times. I'm like, and then I, I, I sit back, and I'm thinking, like, like you said, at what point does a person just, like. Did he have a girlfriend? Yeah. But it didn't matter. At one point, you like, I'm just maybe I just need to bust a nut. <laughs> but some people get maybe past. Maybe she got that. him on probation. You don't, you don't know what but the dynamics are. Some people get to that point where, and they sitting there, and my man was just like, I'm not gonna talk to y'all till y'all give me two Arizona iced teas. And when they gave it to him, the dude, and when they tell me, and they said, man, what happened? He said, man, the dude was just like, he just was riding me, man. I'm working, I'm doing more, and I'm doing this. This is a black guy. Yeah, and he just like. He he just felt like I ain't doing enough. And the dude, the detective's like, man, but you working though. He was making, he said, man, I don't give a damn about that. On my day off, let me have my day off. Don't call me. Really? Hey, man. I'm sorry. What does it say? Single dudes available in your area. <laughs> <laughs> Tonight wow, you only like that? Yeah. But to your point, man, come in here. I'm yeah. waiting for, you know, Fact Freedom to open the gate. Like, what's taking us so UPS long? man dude behind me, he going to have the nerve to get out the truck and tap on my window. See? Man, when I tell you I rolled that window and ate his ass up. Oh, what you say? <laughs> hey, this is sweet daddy. <laughs> Come on, man. I done already had it with the Asian girl. So he hit you with the UPS. Now a little Super Mario dude driving the UPS truck going to have the nerve to get out the truck and tap on my window he while I wait for the, the gate to open. He hit you with the, yo, my man, move the truck. I'm like, look, man, <laughs> you're going to have to wait. Get your little jockey-looking ass back in that motherfucking truck for I'll fuck you up. Wow. And if that's a problem for you, back that motherfucker all the way up. Didn't they teach you how to drive that motherfucking truck? See? What do you think I'm going to do? Just go out of here and go all the way around the corner for your motherfucking ass? Fuck you. See, that's borderline. He on that edge. I can't do it no more, LD. A nigga there. I can't, you You got the nerve to come tap on my motherfucking window? All the shit you I done went through. You see my wrong? You see I'm going right, what the fuck? All the bullshit I done went through to get here you this morning? Fuck you and them boxes. Yeah, you you getting paid. You 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 you, you ain't in no rush. Come on, man. This is not your last stop. Fuck you and them boxes, man. Get your little jockey looking ass back up in that truck, man. Well, I've never. So here we go. <laughs> Don't push me because I'm close to the man. edge. Yeah, we, it, it's tough out here, man. It, it ain't tough. It's rough. Yeah, it's a real man, deal. It's, it's a rough. real deal. Um, Polish, your hair looks nice. Looks Allegedly. Cute, straight. Ooh. You got to cut, though, huh? Yeah, you look like you cut it. Are you losing weight? <laughs> 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 you got jokes. That's fine. Where, hey, where's the, how's the puppy? The puppy's back? Yeah, where's um yeah? Because I heard I saw that you put him to sleep. You took him on a oh, took her on a hike. Yeah, she's back with my niece Bella. Oh. Yeah, yeah, she was such a good oh. puppy. Yeah, she was. Yeah. Mm. Okay, that was that was totally meaningless. Yeah, that was, that was <laughs> that was in a man's world, tighten up your so belt. What's everybody doing this weekend? I'll get my dick sucked. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> uh, Can I watch? <laughs> Can you watch? Uh, the views shared by John Lemon. <laughs> I'm hustling. Not this reflect weekend. those <laughs> I'm heterosexual. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm, uh, I'm hustling. I gotta get this money. Code three and I are probably gonna try to go see a movie. Oh. Go see Girls Trip. I know. I, I know. I plan to. Stop Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Have you seen Hidden Figures? Yet? <laughs> no. No. That's what I'm talking about. You know, Girls Trip. That bullshit. I, you haven't seen Girls Trip either. You talking? To- <laughs> Do you want to see Hidden Figures? You said you had a DVD yeah, I'm a for Yeah, I'm going to bring it next week. Do you want to see it? Yeah, sure. Okay, I'll, I'll bring it for you next It'll week. It'll change your life. Okay. It will absolutely change your life. Really? Okay. Great, it's a great flick. Um, what was great about it? It was real. It was real. It was, it was, it was a good flick. Man, that was some They don't teach bullshit, that in elementary man. school, huh? Come on, no, man. No, um, no. it was a great flick. Come on, man. That's Did you watch Moonlight? No. <laughs> the Black Broke Back? 
No. Yeah, that, I was, didn't watch that. that was a tough one. You watched that, Lou? Oh, God. You I, loved it? It was no. It was, <laughs> it was not. Yeah, I got to the was, point where I was, was like, not, really? You niggas on the beach? Y'all can, okay. I mean, yeah, I, was, I mean, when it got to that point, I, 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 was I, done. I, I seen enough. It was okay up until that point. Mm. And the end was just horrible. Mm. So do just, do they have an end for us? Is that what they're telling us? It's it, not... We gotta accept it, or I didn't get that far. Your heterosexual way of thinking is outdated. Is is that what's going no, on? It's just, just it's real life, though. Yeah, I it's just real life yeah. for who? It's in our community. No, it's real life for who? Who is it real life for? I mean, it's real life. Mm. Okay. Um, David Raybon had a post on his Hilarious. Facebook about uh, she showed a woman getting on her knee and proposing. To her man. This is the comedian David Raymond. Yeah. So, what do you guys think of that? A woman. What if Code Three proposed to you, Lewis? How would you feel? I'd tell her not to. Um, Mm. But what if it was like around her friends at a dinner? (laughs) That ain't got nothing to do with it. And she gets away. She gets on her knee. And proposes to you with the ring. Do you tell her no? No. Here's the thing. She says this all the time. I'm a girl. Mm. She says that she's a girl. I'm such a so girl. So she's not a woman. She, no, meaning that she's a female. She's a woman. No, so let's, she's not going to go by the word she say now. Let's not how, change no, it. I'm and, not going to. And how old is the girl she's portraying? <laughs> <laughs> she says she's a woman. So she's Lou gonna, Kelly. So she's traditional in that way. <laughs> I need that meme. <laughs> you, you caught that one. That motherfucker looked at Tori and said, well, how old is a teenage girl we talking? <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> R. Kelly. <laughs> Well, how old of a teenager are we actually talking? Yeah, that did. She um, said she's a girl. Take so I don't, I don't, you know, it, it's, hmm? again, we're into this modern day. Othello. Yeah, I was looking at, you know. So would you, you would, would you accept it? Or would you say, you know, no, get up. We're not going there. Would you stop it? Well, since you're down there. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I would hope um, she wouldn't do that, but, um. If a girl did do that, you don't want to embarrass the person, you know, if they doing that. So, you know. You, Why not? Like, you, bitch, no. You know, she's around her friends and she's doing that. Don't let her paint that picture for you. And you go ahead and just go with the flow and then on the ride home. What's wrong with you? You know, then you'd have a Then you beat her up. But hopefully you, you've had a, you know, that's what I'm saying about mature people have conversations like this before. Mm-hmm. I mean, that. I mean, something's. Something to me, it's something up if a woman has to get on her knees and ask the guy to marry. Maybe she's tired of waiting, and, and that's something wrong with that. So, what do you think about the guys at the sporting events that get on their knees in the big jumbo? Well, that's time? tradition. I mean, I'm a traditional person in that respect. So, you know, if if it works for them, here's the here's the PC answer. If it works for them, cool. You know, but you know, I that not, no, I don't, no. I don't, I wouldn't ask a guy. My first recollection of that is when Chrissy performed at Jim Jones and, and she got on her knee and proposed to him. That was my first time ever seeing yeah? something like that. Yeah, he said yeah. That was his girl. Who? Jim Jones. Dipset. You don't know, you don't know like yeah. that, man. Did he, yeah. did he say yes? You know yeah, they got married. Who, is he a rapper or something? Yeah. She got tired of waiting, so she, mm-hmm. she proposed. Would you like that to happen to you? Would you say? What would you? That's tough. Cause it ain't about the marriage. My thing is, man, marriage should be it should be a million dollars to get married, and it should be free to get divorced. So if you really want it, let's see who really want it. You put up that million dollar bond, and let's see who really want to get married. Because right now it's opposite. It costs seventy five dollars to get married, and it costs tens of thousands, millions of dollars to get divorced. Put that million up first, and let's see who really want it. Let's see what love is. So um you bring five hundred thou wow, I'll bring five hundred thou wow. So let's let's do this then. There, we were, which one billionaire without two billionaires? Mm. Cause I'm a cute billionaire. Um mm-hmm. we uh wanna make an announcement. We were trying to make it earlier, but we were told to build it. Man, up. y'all need to hold off on that. Man. Can we get a drum roll? Do you have a drum roll? No. <sighs> um Here we go. I got a phone call from um one of our hosts. He's like, man, Can we energy, fact check this phone call? Because motherfuckers been lying about phone calls our lately. Energy <laughs> is better at night, man. You know. And it's obvious that we're not morning people because we can't get here on time. 
I'm always early. We were on time True. today. True, we were on time. Today. We were on time for the announcement. <laughs> yeah. So um, we have decided, uh, starting next week, and another reason we're doing this is because uh, the rollout show is about to premiere, and we don't want to get in the way of that. <laughs> so, we're always thinking of others. Yeah, yeah, so we don't, we don't want to. We've held it up long enough for them to come back. So <laughs> we're. Um, <laughs> Are they resuming their time slot? I'm assuming it's going to be a, oh, a, I love a, funny. a morning show. So <laughs> we're, we're going to step back and let them, you know, Sean. Con- you know, run the airwaves. <laughs> uh, let, let that funny just go out there. Control the Wi-Fi. Yeah, yeah. Um, and because um, I'm sure we're going to lose at least three listeners. Uh, wow. At now, least. Yeah, at least three. Now, Tyrone W. over in, um, where is he at? Uh, in London. Now, he got to readapt to his schedule. Home of the bloody wanker. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so we have decided Joe uh, be happy. with the blessing of our producer, mm-hmm. um, we're going to go back to the evenings on yeah. Fridays. Mm-hmm. We're going back to starting the show at 9.30 p.m. Yeah. And Pacific time. Pacific time. Mm-hmm. 9.30 p.m., which make it 12.30 East, East time. Eastern time. And 11.30 Central. Central. Mm-hmm. So now y'all made this decision, obviously without consulting me. No, we, we checked with you. You just didn't pick up. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> we, Jeff, are you going to be able to do the show? You said you had a job. No, he'll be here. Yeah, okay. Did you really have to say that on air? Really? Yeah, really. yeah snitch. That's <laughs> not working at all. That's yeah. why Hillary at lost. Least, at least you got a job. <laughs> so, Ain't no um, shame in that. You done told yes, niggas I was in your bathroom smoking crack. You kicked right. the door in. You just going to put me all out there. Hey, I was superwoman. Man. I was. I, I actually pulled that nigga out of a crack house once. Wow. wow. Anyway, we'll tell that no, story let's next talk about week. Now. <laughs> what kind of topic did you have on? We're going to have John Livin's uh, crack, so car, minute, crack car, uh, chronicle. Wait a minute. So you, went, you found out that he was at a crack house. Yeah, yeah. man. She came in there and she was raising all kind of hell. Niggas was telling her, man, who the fuck is this? I'm like, go outside in the car. I'll be there. Now, wait a minute. No one at there is. You was there, Jeff? No. Knowing that there's tons and tons of crack houses, how did you find the crack house? You got a crack house oh. app? You find them. I don't know how I found them. Mm. That's love. <laughs> yeah, that's that's love. That's what happened to my brother when he came out here. That's when real I was love. Right off there. of Aborn. Uh-huh. Mm. He came to stay with me. And my mom and his daughter came out here to visit. Mm. And he bullshitted my mom. Mm. And my mom gave him some money. And he went off to some crack house around the corner. Mm-hmm. And this was his first time out here. And my mom and his daughter. And it's funny because they know how to know where to get yeah. cracked no matter and what city. Yeah. And, and his daughter <laughs> went crazy because she wanted to see her dad before she left. Let's go this way. And this nigga, he like took the money and all that. And then he called the house. Mm. And he like, man, I fucked up. I'm like, yeah, man, whatever, dude. You, you, whatever, man. I'm lost. Uh, how do I get back to the apartment? And I was like, nigga, just think of it as a crack house. You will find it. You know? <laughs> <laughs> when I think of home. That's funny. And he and we're getting people t- complaining in the chat room. About what? The late night. They what don't they want com- it now. What are they complaining about? I go out on Friday nights. It's too late. <laughs> wow. Depending on what this uh, client at... 8, 8.30 has to say, maybe you guys would be on at 9. Mm-hmm. All right, well, let us know by Tuesday. So they run our lives? No, we're going to be at 9.30. What do you think yeah, about that? No, yeah. They That's run fine. our lives. Who? Chat room. They run our lives. Um, listen, um, so. Girl. Uh, girl, for <laughs> real. Uh, Honey bone. We thank you all for listening. Uh, we I'm do. Louis Dix. TDP. Jeff Arnold. We'll see you Friday at 9.30 p.m. Pacific time with our new run late logo all day long. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that's the night that works. Run that's late. That's what I'm saying. Late, yeah, all right, I may be here. Yes. All right, we're out. Peace. Hey, hold on. Wow. I gotta get the song together. This would never happen on the view. Oh my gosh, man. We running extra time. We gotta edit this and all that. So, so. what were you thinking? No, I wanted to uh, say. Um, Wow. Yeah, that's a sexy <laughs> what, 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 yeah. what was that? A radio voice. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so, uh, <laughs> went back, she went back to K-Day. K- K- or yeah. K- 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 the beat. All right, we out.